Okay. So let me ask you this. Fuck it. Fuck it. Do you think KK does what you said often? What do you mean? Like, makes different business decisions. Yeah, but I think that's a part of being mm-hmm. young and learning yourself. So, like, for example, I told you he was with Wave Stars, and then he left that group. Yeah. Then he was, you know, pretty and paid, and he left that group. <laughs> and then, you know, so he might, he might. <laughs> you know what's crazy? What's up, bro? It ain't that I can't stop. Nope. It's that I won't stop. Go. I made a few plays off a of flip. Now I'm on top. Jeez. I'm Southside Chief, homie. Yeah. What you know about it? Lake Street legend CEO, not the co-founder. What you want to know about me? I'm so cursed up. I'm the last man standing, but I went first up. Most hated, they don't say it when I roll up. No. The things that people say about me, they don't say close up. Check it. I ain't been to the booth in a minute. Check. Niggas hate the fact that I'm winning. Yep. I'm on Lake Street, yo. When you pop in, in Minnesota, you gotta go check it out. Facts, okay? we gonna be on that joint. Live on motherfucking Lake Street, man. Yeah. I, I, I don't know how to say it. Say it. Bangin', boy, you wasn't in it. Really a genuine nigga, homie, don't get offended. From East Lake, South Murder. I'm just it ain't so that tired. I can't stop. It's that I won't stop. Yeah. It ain't. Kevin Tucci, yo. Yeah, I'm going. going. You ready, fam? For sure. You got your seatbelt, helmet? Yeah. All that? Good? Yeah. All right. Y'all know what it is, y'all know what it is, it's your boy Southside Chief of Lake Street Legend, aka Big Church. We got the biggest in the building, man. We got the one, the only Polo Scott's in the building. How you feeling, Church? Yeah, I'm a little bit. <laughs> hey, listen, man, Southside got us drinking this motherfucker since like t- it's the morning time right now, man. It's yeah. the morning time. He got us drinking already. He got the go, the Casa bottle half drunk. Oh yeah. He Casa bottle half gone. He babysitting. I ain't babysitting. He babysitting. That's fucked up. This is a no, I told you I was going to call your bluff. Now that we... No. No, you, th- you said I was ducking. You ducking. That's, this I'm is on you. This is, this is like my fourth cup Yeah. before 2 p.m. Four? Pinky. My fourth cup. Okay. This is my third interview today. I got up at five. I'm with you, gang. Jim ain't open till six. I was Look, pissed off. I'm with you, gang. I appreciate you having me here. A Hot legendary energy. platform. I appreciate it, man. We got to get into it. For the people that don't know, we got one of the biggest... One of the most sought after DJs in the state. We want to know the journey, the road on how you went from where you started to where you are today. Let the people know how did you get into DJing? How did you get into. Yeah, let's just start with DJing. How did you get into DJing? Shit, I started DJing because um, I was. I actually never really like wanted to be like the front person of, mm-hmm. you know, whatever we had going on. We was, you know, we was always known, running around the city, whatever. And I was uh, real close with another DJ, DJ Cam Bennett. Okay. I was close with him. And uh, we went to school together, whatever. And um, What school was that? Well, we, we was at uh, Fair School, which is an art school. That's okay. downtown Minneapolis. And um, that school taught us, like, all the shit that you got going on in here, you know, I can do it yeah. to some extent. Obviously not. Like as Studio good as Four type yeah. shit. Yeah, yeah. Well, that type yeah. Of, you know, that type of situation. It's like um not an alternative school, but yeah. you know, we went to regular Minneapolis schools and then we trying to shit on Studio Four? <laughs> No, I'm saying, nigga, it's no, not. It's right for them I'm niggas. saying, people think it's an it's alternative. Right for them niggas. No, Studio Four not an alternative school, is it? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> Look at this nigga, bro. Shout hey, to you gotta watch Shout him. To He's Mama slick. Shy. No, you have to watch him. He's slick. He is a slick motherfucker, bro. I'm just saying, no, man. okay. I, look, you got me right. <laughs> but look, it basically what that school was yep. when we was in. I went to Sheridan Middle School. Long mm-hmm. story short, when we went to the school, they handed us a pamphlet with all the Minneapolis schools and Fair School was on there and it said yep, you know yep. music uh, uh photography and all sign that. me up yeah and they, and they no they actually no was giving us free laptops that's what got me damn you, you, you could lease a laptop for them for like 160 dollars a year you can get a macbook it was the crazy fuck? bro yeah it, i kind of do remember that you, with all the programs on it well all the programs on it so anyway to get to your question i'm yeah. sorry bro but to get to your question i was with cam and cam was already djing and i was like y'all the same age or uh, same age, same yeah. age. Yeah, I'm a couple months older than him. Oh, okay. And so anyway, I was trying to do like the management behind the scenes type of deal. And um, 
I don't know why our, our relationship, you know, didn't didn't pan out or whatever. But I yeah. had bookends. Yeah. I, I, back then, I was DJing high school. It was a ticket. Yeah. You know, 17, 18, 19 years old. Yeah, no, nah, that's big. We looking at prom for Cam Wood, and Polo name was ringing bells. Yeah, yeah Woodbury, for East sure. Ridge. Definitely. We had that. I had that whole district. Yeah. Online, you know, nah, that that's whole a fact. Yeah. South Washington County, whatever the fuck yeah. they district if you was know, called. You know, you know, yeah. know. So I had so be, I had to end up doing a lot of that stuff by myself, whatever, and then. I'm a businessman, bro. I look at it and I'm like, okay, this could be something. I yeah. took a couple years off and was promoting or whatever. Didn't necessarily, um, I just feel like it was a lane open, you know? Yeah. And so then I started DJing more and more. Started DJing like, oh, we're going to go way back. I started DJing that cream. Mm. You know, I was on a controller that's this big, bro. Like I remember that. Yeah, baby controller. I remember that. And, um, you know, free. Yeah. Free for years. House parties, bandos, breaking See, in. See, I'm a I'm a little bit older, so that was like cream part two. That wasn't the original. Yeah, no, cream. that wasn't the real cream. That wasn't the original cream. <laughs> <laughs> that ain't the original This joke. nigga is slick. You gonna uh, catch everything. <laughs> like cream. Nah. You was probably twelve in that month. Nah, nah, nah. Yeah, yeah, you right. Yeah, you right. You was probably twelve years yeah. older. That cream. Yeah. But the poor house cream was definitely uh no, nah, that was a movie. For sure. I remember Mick had brought me on there to uh, film and shit like that. Yeah, what's your relationship with Mick? I used to open for Mick, mm. and so it's it's crazy because I used to um, open for Mick, and Mick used to cuss me out, bro. <laughs> like I didn't know how to DJ, bro. So I'm playing the biggest songs like back then. Um, I'm trying to think what the biggest record was like. Uh, I remember uh, what's that song called? Cashing out. Got a condo on my wrist, yeah, girl. Yeah, I'm, I'm cashing, cashing out. out. Yeah, nigga, I must have played that motherfucker at 10:45. Mick come back there. Shut your computer. Shut, shut your computer. You gotta build up the songs like this. You know he getting yeah. on my ass, and it's crazy because now, like, you know, me and Mick, yeah, we just um we just got close again this year. That's dope. And uh, now he DJ with me at Origami. Now that That's I done kind of spread my wings and start becoming a promoter and shit, I'm like. Man, what, what Mick Boulevard on? Like, that nigga yeah. was hard, you know? Yeah, yeah. And um, so now we done circled back. And me and Mick, you know, if I have an opportunity for him, I call Mick every time, man. Yeah, now he called with the mic and shit like that, too. Yeah, for sure. Like, when I was doing tantrum and shit, like, he would just come, pull up. Because me and Mick, we went to studio for us. So I know Mick since I was, like, 14. I'm 32 yeah. now, so that's more than half my life. Yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Or actually, no, 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 I'm lying. I ain't go to studio for You lying 14. about being 32? No, 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 no. Oh, no, no, okay, no, no, okay, no, no, okay, no, no. okay. I'll be 33 in December. <laughs> but Mick, I, I went to studio for my senior year, so I was already 17, 18. Yeah, same shit. I ain't known 14. Yeah, I think about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, um, okay, so you said you don't know what happened between you and Cam, where it just kind of just. Psh. Yeah, I, you know, it just happened, bro. Word on the street. <laughs> Cam thought he was too good. I don't know. Shit, I don't know. Whatever happened, happened, bro. Basically, you know, we was planning on actually doing a podcast since we on the podcast. That's ironic. And, the day uh, I get Cam in here, we might hit a million views. <laughs> stop it. <laughs> no, no. That, you know he's the reason behind that PNB shit. Or he's not the reason, but he's 32%. Oh, for real? No, dead ass. Yeah. I mean, I don't. That's a story for another. I'll be 100, day. bro. Like, I don't got no. no um, Our, rest in peace, PNB, bro. Yeah. I ain't got no issues with him or nothing, but I also don't necessarily pay attention to no, him. No, I had no issues. I don't see him about two weeks ago. I, yeah. I, I always see Cam. What the fuck? He's a sweetheart. <laughs> yeah. 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 He's a good guy. Yeah. So, yeah. But anyway, to tell you the story, though, we had recorded a podcast or whatever. And yep. we was trying to start a podcast down there, like, probably 2014, like, you know, when we was young. Yeah. People still associate me with Cam, bro. Me and Cam <laughs> haven't been cool. And so, it is beef. No, not I haven't not, been cool. Not beef, but we just don't speak. I don't talk to him. When Tension. I see him, when I see him, I shake his hand and I tell him I wish you the best. And I you know, when you cool with somebody like that, bro, I'm always that's that's somebody no, that's I'm the, always that's, go the, that's, the, that's the good beef. No. When you shake a nigga hand. <laughs> that shit you do. I don't yeah, do that. Yeah, that's the, I don't, that's I don't live like that. I don't, <laughs> I, don't, I, don't do that. I wish that man the best. Let man. me catch you out bounds. <laughs> Hell no. Nah. Cam, come on, man. Outside the corridor. <laughs> You know how much shit we've been. Charlie wasn't standing right here. No, <laughs> you know how much. You know how much. I shit swear to God, do, bro. Come Charlie on, man. wasn't fucking right here. See it's now you over. you exposing yourself. That's how you feel. Hey man. Hey, the truth must come to the light. No, 
That's so that's how you feel. You telling your truth? No, that's how it is. That's life. What's done in the dark must come to the light. So be truthful at all at all times. Bro, you can't be like that, bro. You can't be like that. Watch me. You cannot be like that, bro. Over that 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 P and B shit was No, no, see, see, that P and B shit was real turn fake, turn real, turn fake. Okay. Cause it was real when it started, but it's still real in the end. Cause you still no, it, it was real cause of Flacco. What, what what you mean? I'm sorry, I gotta catch up. I don't okay. pay attention. So poetic Flacco was the one that made it seem like I had something to do with the shit. Yeah, people in the city already know what was going on from the videos and all of that shit. Yeah, whatever. But Flacco's like when he passed and then he posted the shit. He he was like, see what he said, y'all. And then Cam he, started like. Retweeting that or something? No, like that, okay, or? so when, what, what Cam had to do with the PNB shit is when PNB took the shirt and I was on his ass and I was inboxing him about the shit and it kind of got on, it got on social media, but it got further than that because, like, I had Breakfast Club on the shit, so, like... Oh, yeah, you was on yeah. the Breakfast Club. <laughs> yeah, so, like, Charlamagne, Envy, all of them, we had a conversation about it and they aired it on Revolt. It, it grew, so anybody that was in the industry that had any ties to Minnesota, they was calling in. Especially this is, this man. Is, if you don't get the fuck to where Cam <laughs> did something, goddamn, this, this no, nigga beating around the bush. No, this come is, on, man. This, you this, is all, this is critical though. This okay, is all okay, critical okay. because, um, like I said, okay, yeah, the Breakfast Club, all of that, and then when Cam, when it came down to Cam, the industry was calling in to Minnesota. Yeah. So I've grown. <laughs> I'm not gonna say the person's name. Ryan. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> I had to put my yay on him. But anyway, so Ryan had called uh, or had text, and this is what was told to me from Cam himself. Okay. This is what Cam tells. I don't know if this is true. All right. But this is what was told to me. We're talking about big fish here. Yeah. <laughs> you know what Ryan I'm talking about? Yeah, 300. Oh, right, yeah. Okay. Big fish. <laughs> yeah, he, come on, man. <laughs> he said to Cam Bennett that... Yo, what's up with your boy? The whole industry's laughing at him. You should uh, try to see what's up with that. Wooty woo. That's what was told to me from Cam Bennett. Okay. Cam Bennett, at the time, to me, was a person. Uh, you you cold. You see how I flipped the interview you on him? Cold. He thought he was going to get me. You now cold. he damn near telling his life story. He telling his life story. You cold. <laughs> you cold. <laughs> so you looked up to him? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Come on now. Anyway, but since I'm here now, God damn it! All right, bet, yeah. bet, 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 bet. All right, that's how we playing this. Right, no, bet, no, no, right. no. Right, you right, was right, you right. was trying to right. flip it on me, no, and then right. the reverse Ooh. Uno card came right. out. Yeah, okay, you feel cool. me? So with Cam, after that, Cam was the person to me. We we ain't best friends, no no shit like that. But nigga, we nigga, you got the cloud, you got the Twitter shit going crazy, all that. Nigga, I spent a little couple dollars, get my shit go viral, whatever. Boom. Pay you the DJ Minnesota and pay the nigga DJ in LA. Then he he snakes you, like he like nigga. By the time shit. when a, when a nigga from three hundred ENT asked Cam Bennett about Southside Chief, he shitted on him. Wow, yeah. As a DJ from Minnesota, nigga. Yeah. Like what? Mind you, when I had now this is my, this is my like my last musical ever because you know I used to do music. Yeah, for sure. A lot of motherfuckers don't know that I used to do mm -hmm. music. Had this song called OMG. It was like my biggest effort. Yeah. Ever right? Got it on care. I mean. I said Cam. Shout out to Cam OJ. <laughs> got it on. Go 95. This is before I even met Peter Parker, any of that type of shit. Literally did it off the muscle, off the hustle. Yeah. Shit was going crazy. He was performing around the city with a Power Ranger, doing all different type of shit. <laughs> this nigga pulls up. I didn't invite the nigga. The nigga pulls up with YP to my music video. I must have been something. Mm. Okay. But then when 300 ENT call you. You don't know him no more. Yeah. Like, come on, Ken. Don't play me like that. Yeah. And it's George Floyd, all this shit. The city then burnt down. Nigga, because I'm from Southside. I'm from, I think I went to Sanford Middle School. Fucking, before I said Sanford Middle School. I went to Dowling Elementary School, then Sanford Middle School, then South High. Right. In that order. Mm. Like, nigga, everything that burnt down on Lake Street, nigga, I didn't have mem Nigga, we just talking about Tipsy Tuesdays. Yeah. That building's gone. Yeah. That's where we throw the loud on Lake Street Festival now. Yeah. On top of the ashes. Yeah. That shit really means something. Like, when I've seen this shit, Wendy's nigga, tears. Yeah. Like, nigga, what? Target, all this shit going up? Nigga, what? Yeah. 
This bitch ass nigga PNB goes uh, rest in peace gonna steal my motherfucking shit. Yeah. It's time to go to war. Three hundred ENT calling you, nigga. What's happening? <laughs> you you expect Cam? And you stand shit on, on me? Oh shit! Look, hey, let me tell you something though. And it's the thanks I, I, I get. told you. I told you before, bro. Yep. I'm a politician, bro. I have no comment on none of that. <laughs> <laughs> This story been told. This story's been told. I did this shit on my first interview. Yeah. No, but I I, I do understand where you coming from. But like, that that's a, that's crazy. a lesson. I'm gonna say this though. That's a lesson that I have been learning from people, bro. Is, you know, you might expect a little too much from them. It wasn't that I was expect, nigga. I don't even know the nigga. Don't. Oh yeah, that nigga a clown. Yeah. Exactly. Oh, I didn't know he said that. Bro, yeah. the nigga I got to hey listen, the nigga this is what we laughing and I got to investigate this. I got to investigate this. I got to do I got to I got to go back and then look at we going to come back and then I'll do a clip and we'll talk about it again. I've already covered. If y'all want to watch y'all No, just, but it's different when it's somebody that <laughs> yeah. grew up with him. You know, I got to investigate this. I'll tell you, I really wasn't following his And then as a South Side nigga. See you you Who's cold. a South Side nigga? I'm a South Side nigga. Oh. But as then as a South Side nigga for this nigga to go around saying he a South Side Oh, okay. And then 300 ENT called a nigga. He blocked a South Side nigga. That shit crazy. Wow. Oh, my God. Don DeMont? Mm. Yep. Don All of them. <laughs> you too. <laughs> no, hey, don't put my drop on that. <laughs> hey, he think he's sweet. Don't put my drop on that. I ain't got nothing to do with that, Hey, bro. no. Say no. Y'all see, I'm bobbing weed, boy. <laughs> no, no. You cold. I'm pissed. <laughs> you got me. <laughs> you pissed already? Like what we is... ten minutes in? You pissed already? Not like pissed, pissed. That's like a, I'm just saying. You got me. You good? You cold? I got like, goddamn. We gotta go like two hours, bro. No, we hey, gonna we gonna do it. You might as well order some food. We got we got we got to talk about everything since you starting way back there. You talk mm -hmm. you talking about 2014? You talking about the first yeah. cream? Yeah. We gotta talk about everything, man. I'm yeah. with it. I'm. Look, I'm the I'm joking. I'm really bash. not ducking no no real questions for real, bro. I answer anything. All right. Well, this is the this this is really why I called you up here. Okay. You ready? I'm, I'm joking. I'm really bash. not ducking no no real questions for real, bro. I answer anything. All right. Well, this is the this this is really why I called you up here. Okay. You ready? If you call me up, all the money I paid to get up here. No, Stop no, lying. No. <laughs> I'm playing. No, I'm you playing. you ready? What's up? I'm man? gonna say one name. Okay. I want the camera. Zoom in on his face. All right. KK. What about him? <laughs> <laughs> this nigga talking about KK. What about him? Uh, I see. What, what made your eyes twitch when I brought his name up? Man, I ain't ducking. What's up, bro? I'm just saying, everybody's seen the camaraderie that y'all had. Yeah. The brothership, the fellowship, the events. It was iconic. What happened? Shit, basically, um, I had met KK. KK was... See, I'm going to actually answer this question. I'm not even right. going to duck it. I'm going to tell Don't you the, the God's honest truth. Please. KK was a part of a promotion group called the Wave Stars. And mm. they, you know, they was a young group who mm -hmm. had the city on fire. And we, we basically had uh, Monarch at the time. I was doing Free Fridays. Shout I met him. him. And my my little brother Nelly Rich, Nelly Rich, an artist. If you don't if you don't know Nelly Rich, you gotta yeah, check nah, him he, out. Yeah, he, he's trying to bust my head to get up here do shows. All every time Man, Nelly Rich is he's he on fire, bro. He got a song called Money. On. Actually, I'm glad. All right, we we gonna revisit this. Yeah, but, cause I've been pushing the fuck out that song. No, like Nelly revisit. Rich ain't never. This has nothing to do with Nelly Rich. What I'm thinking, but oh, just okay, okay, pricing and paying for certain shit. I gotta. Yeah, we gotta, we, we, gotta, we, gotta, I, we gotta talk, we, about, we that. talk about that. Put that in my but anyway, mind. um. Long story short, bro, Nelly and KK come to me and they say they want to promote. They want to, you know, they don't want to do warehouses. They want to, you know, really get into the club or whatever. And um, they was 
you know, I brought them in the Monarch, and the motherfuckers was, they did what they were supposed to do, bro. Yeah. Like, they, they brought out the, the younger crowd. I had the older crowd, they brought out the younger crowd. Yeah. And um, we basically was like, you know what? I'm I'm gonna take y'all under my wing, and we gonna wherever I go, y'all go. You know, I do four to six events a week. Yeah, no, nah, you literally you, you, you out here. You know, and so I didn't, I eat, nigga, I didn't had plenty of people tell me like I called you the DJ. Yeah, yeah, time. exactly, exactly. <laughs> yeah, so you know, you know, you know, yeah, I'm like, I'm working, bro. Yeah. I'm focused on work. Yeah. And so I put them on everything. I put them yeah. on everything that I did or whatever. Yeah. And um, you know. Really, what happened? KK didn't do nothing wrong. He he tried to make a he made a business decision. He said, "You know, I don't care about the money I'm getting paid. Yeah. I don't care about any of that. I want to go w- with a younger audience." Or I, I don't know what his reasoning was, because um, you know, I told him I'll match the money or whatever. You know, I I felt like, you know, from my perspective, if I already I op- getting paid a nice little he was, oh come on there. bro if I showed you my cash come on man he I, is it gonna man, match they cash up who. It's it's a lot. Hey, there's. I told you I do four to six events a week, so you do the math. I don't I don't know what that has to do with KK. He got paid for every event he do, right? I know, but did it match? You said you match them. Okay, you you not slow. You getting you sweating a little bit? No, I'm not. <laughs> uh, uh, but you not slow. If you do four events a week, yeah, or you do one event a week, yeah, two events a week, yeah, math is math. Yeah. You do five events a week, six events a week versus. Two. So you're saying, <laughs> but listen, don't throw me this alley oop because I'm, I'm about no, I'm to not. Slam dunk this. <laughs> you told me a different type of alley oop. I'm, I'm like, not. I'm not. All right, I'm listen, l- I'm listen. You. Long story short, the man is a he a grown ass man, bro. And yep. he basically, you know, we we work together. I yep. told him I would do whatever I can to to put mm-hmm. your name out there, and I mm-hmm. did. I I did that. And at, at a certain point, he said, "Okay, that's enough. I want to go in a different direction." And you know, I don't know if it's because he wanted to be around a younger audience, or he felt like he had a better opportunity. Why do you say a younger audience? Why do you keep because saying a because audience? all the events I do are twenty one plus. At the time when I put KK in those events and Nelly in those events, not just KK, yeah. um, he wasn't twenty one. Yeah. And that the reason why that's right is because when I first threw my first events at Aqua, I mean, we all been or Cream, yeah. Nigga, I threw events at Aqua where, you know, I'm. I'm um, 18 and they, or yeah. 17 and they like, well, you can throw the event from outside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> they didn't yeah. break no laws. They yeah. said you could do the event from outside or we could do a 16 plus night yeah. on a Wednesday. So with him being 20 at the time or whatever, he wasn't 21. And then now what he's doing now is more 18 plus, which is more his crowd. So, you, bro, it's always love for KK, bro. This is somebody who. That's not what he said. Oh, he said something different. I had him up here about two hours ago. <laughs> this nigga's a messy nigga. I swear to God, you got Instagram? Pull your Instagram up. Go Tell check me, uh, no, no, no. Before you pull the Instagram up, you need to show me a clip of what he said. No, 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 no. Oh, if you can't that's, do that, that's then the you can't magic. Do that. That's the magic of my job. But look, you listen. I told you, monkey wrench. <laughs> <laughs> Nah, you check the hey, story? listen, hey, listen, man. Right? Hey, right? this he nigga right messy. Here. Hey, what's the, the word? Messy, the wall, petty. <laughs> <laughs> man, come on, man. Messy, me- messy, 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 messy. Mr. Go- Clean. I don't listen. <laughs> KK could have came up here. Let me just say this. Look yeah. at me when I tell you this, freeze, bro. <laughs> KK could have came up here and said, fuck me. Suck a dick, Polo Scott. Whatever he said. Let me tell you something. That nigga is 21 years old, bro. I have no issues with KK. I never will have an issue with KK. I think when KK spends three, four years in this industry, he going to come back and look at it and be like, he opened a lot of doors for me. He did. I, I've never shorted him on a payment. I never. I opened a lot of doors. Although for I didn't voice this on his interview, I do agree with that. Yeah. That you definitely He's just young, did. young, bro. That you definitely did open a doorway for him to get to where he's going and that's how opportunity works exactly i don't i don't hold no malice towards <laughs> him bro it's it's like do what i so you didn't feel away when he left i did but what Who i started pretty and paid me and him together i came to him and said bro we should do an all-female promotion group kk says i can help you with that i know some young girls you add the older girls and we gonna book we gonna do this together fine and um i still you know if he did say something different we gonna do this I'll show you the text when that started. Now he said he said he, that. I'll show that you the detail, text. I'll show you. Agree on, he said that. 
Okay. Yeah. yeah, we we did this joint together, and then he made a business decision where he said he want to go in a different direction. I told him I'll match the money. He said, no, I still want to go in a different direction. I said, fine. And then he left the group. <laughs> he left the he left the club. Okay, so when he left, how did that make you feel personally? Be real. Listen, I had to understand. In the moment, I told him, bro, you're smarter than this. You, you know, if somebody opens a door for you, even if they would, I told him I'll match the money, but even if... So I you try to pigeonhole him and keep him? Hell no. Hell no. I told him I will match the money. You know, if they're offering you a better deal, let's work out a deal. And he said he want to go in a different direction. Mm -hmm. I said, okay, cool. But how did I feel about it? Of course, when you put somebody on, yeah. you're going to, or not not necessarily put them on. When you open a door for somebody. Polo Sky says he put KK on. This nigga's retarded, bro. We run the headlines. <laughs> this nigga slow. When you put a nigga on, I'll put, put this bitch I ass nigga on. Listen, when you, this bitch I did not call me. He's talking about bitch ass nigga. <laughs> hey, they gonna watch this and they gonna see what type of guy you is, bro. They gonna say hey, he was all bullshit with Polo. Hey man, I live my Listen, life. Listen, li I'm like gonna it's finish, golden. I'm gonna finish what I'm saying. When you open a door for somebody, <laughs> when you open doors, you I want a KK. Listen, man. Polo's guy this is says the same, he opened doors for KK. This, yes, I did say that. This is the same person. It. This is the same person where, <laughs> you know, we done. Listen, I'm going to show you how to use this equipment. I'm going to show you how to do your first DJ. So, listen, I invested. So, you showed him the ropes. I invested a lot. So, did I want him to stay with me and, you know, we build together? I seen a lot of him. I definitely did. At the end of the day, what I came to terms with is, he young. When I was young, when what I was What do you mean by saying that he's young? What does that mean? He's literally 21 years old. Yeah, I know. He, yeah, but what does that mean? What that means is when I was his age, I was doing fuck. I was stealing. So you're when, saying he a thief? No, I was. <laughs> okay. This is, what he did is nothing wrong with what he did. He just learning, bro. That's all it is. He learning. And so I have no, I have no like ill will towards KK. I wish him the best, man. <laughs> we know what that means. <laughs> he funny as <laughs> We know what that means. Nah. Hey, hey, man, the peace of love, brother. Peace, love, prosperity. Listen, I've you know, never... I give you the world, man. It, it, me <laughs> casa, some casa, man. Brother. Listen, I, like I said, I really do wish him the best, man. Put my drop on that. <laughs> no, you got to hit it, folks. It don't, it, don't, it don't do the DJ joint. It don't do the DJ. Okay, okay, okay. It's one at a time. All right. But I got you. Hey, listen. You're funny as hell. <laughs> man, I love to laugh, man. You're funny as all hell. All I do is some funny shit. Yeah. <laughs> That's all hey, I look, do. when y'all watch when y'all watch my interview and y'all watch KK interview, y'all gonna see who messy. No. Uh yeah, yeah, yeah. KK, yeah. I guarantee you, bro, I know that kid, what, what, bro. What, 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 what? If KK came up here talking crazy about <laughs> me, he would never. He would never. Let me harken back. He would never. He would, bro. He's not like that. He's not a bad kid, bro. He just trying something different. And I would never say nothing bad about him. You just gave me a fucked up alley you. Okay. So let me ask you this. Fuck it. Fuck it. Do you think KK does what you said often? What do you mean? Like makes different business decisions. Yeah, but I think that's a part of being mm -hmm. young and learning yourself. So like, for example. I told you he was with Wave Stars, and then he left that group. Yeah. Then he was, you know, pretty and paid, and he left that group. <laughs> and then, you know, so he might, he might. <laughs> you know what's crazy? What's up, bro? You said you had me? Huh? <laughs> you said you had me? You think you got me? We cracking the interview off with that clip. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, y'all gotta start recording this so when he edit this motherfucker, he don't get me. You said you was gonna let it roll. We no, it's all one stream, but I'm it's a it's a it's a preview clip before every episode. Then okay, so on. then they gotta watch it. Yeah. So then put it on Patreon. I should. Don't but do it. It's that. too niche. Trust yeah, yeah, yeah. It's don't. Too niche. Don't. Okay. Motherfuckers ain't going like. So that. yeah. Long long story short, they tried that shit, and it, it fucked up. And then I grabbed him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. So, um, but going going back to your question, when you young, you gonna try different stuff. When I yep. was when I was young, I tried to DJ weddings, and then I went to this, and I went to that. I did proms, and then I finally landed on mm -hmm. I'm a club DJ. Yeah, I went on tours around. You know, the world. I DJed for a minute. Nah, I ain't DJ for a minute. <laughs> okay, <laughs> clip that, nigga. <laughs> I, was, I was saving a couple dollars. <laughs> This man, I hey, was listen. Saving a couple dollars, like. Listen, <laughs> Southside Chief done came up here, done got me here first thing in the morning, done got me drunk, and then tried to be messy. Oh my God! Come on, man. Oh my God! 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 Oh my God!
Come on, bro. Hey, Come man. On, bro. He lied. That's all I got to say. Who? You. Stop it. Polo, 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 man. There's so much we can I told get you into. I want. Hey, listen, though. <laughs> I wasn't even supposed to answer no questions on that because I know people think that, like, it's more than what it is. All right. But I told you I wasn't ducking. So I answered the question. I swear to God, bro. Everything I said is 100% Leon, true. You ready? What's your thoughts on 18? Eighteen. Yep. <laughs> Who the, oh, <laughs> <laughs> got him. We got him. <laughs> she gotta come in. We got him. We got him. We got him. We got him. Oh shit. Oh shit. Listen, man. When it come to eighteen, Chase a bag is somebody that I I've known for probably fifteen years. Probably fifteen years, and we worked a lot together, and I've always felt like. Basically, long. Keep going. I'm gonna reset. Nah, actually, you know what? No, 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 <laughs> you gotta reset the cameras. No, 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 no. It's the audio is it? Is everything going? going? Yeah, yeah. Everything's going. Everything's going. I'll, I'll wait till you're done, bro. Alright, bet, 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 bet. Camera, 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 camera. All right, bet. Yep. Like you were saying, that bitch ass nigga. Um, what? What is you talking about? Huh? You were saying something about a nigga hoe and shit. Nah, I never said nothing like that, bro. You look like a fuck nigga. I said something. Like that. Ask you a question, bro. What was my question, bro? I don't know. Eighteen. God damn it! Almost. You almost got away. You almost got away. That's enough applause. Eighteen thoughts. How you feel about it? Man, they doing their thing. Bro. Are they copying you? You feel like that? No, I'm asking that. Nah, I don't feel like that. So they ain't mirror nothing you had going on. They probably did, but that's a part of life. Mm, you set the blueprint. Yeah, that's a part of life, though. You did set the blueprint. That's actually flattering. Im what they what's the saying? Um, imagery is the best form of flattery. Something, I'm, bro. I'm. I don't know if they. Hey, listen. What time I don't know. is it? It's too early. Look at one thing what's about up? success. I'm gonna tell you this, bro. What's and up? I'm not even saying I'm successful, bro, because I'm I'm trying. I'm trying like everybody else. I would say you're successful. But to but to try to win, you gotta have your blinders on. Mm -hmm. I don't know what they doing. You don't know what they're doing? No. I mean, I know to a certain extent, but I'm not saying like... We all you, got Instagram. When you say, when you say um, is they copying you, you have to give me examples. Like, they're copying what? An all-girl group in Minnesota promotion team. So you saying that's a, um, like, pretty and You were the first person to do it in Minnesota, to my knowledge. True. So, do you feel that a team might have looked at your model... At the time, KK was a part of 18. Oh, so oh, okay. I see what you said. You said KK took my model and went to them, and then basically did the same thing with them. No, if I wanted to say that, I would have said it. You said that. I didn't say that. You just did. I'm asking you a question. Oh. <laughs> oh, I was like, God damn. No, I didn't. But uh, listen, yeah, no. Whatever they doing, man. I, I did any pretty and paid girls try to go on 18? Did any A-team girls try to get on Pretty and Pay? Find out next time on Dragon Ball fucking Z. No, it's funny. Yeah. All right, but no. Answer the question. Yeah. Yes, There's, both? Both the, ways? Yeah, both ways. Oh, shit. <laughs> bro, that's a, part of, that's a part of life, bro. Like, I mean. Again, Who? See, Chief, you the type of nigga Who? when somebody <laughs> do this to you, you mad at everybody. Who? Who? That, that, I don't get mad at that, bro. No, I'm just saying, but who? Drop a name. Oh, come on. Bro, she was from Pretty and Page. She tried to jump fence. <laughs> Fuck that bitch. Not playing. But I'm just saying, I ain't playing. But you know what I'm saying? Uh, that's not that's not how that happened. Nor if it did happen like that, would I even care? I'm not mad at no shit like that, bro. People have free will. You can do what you want. Listen, I'm not. Hold on. Let me just say this. People can let me just say this. I'm not want. one of them people. I'm not one of them people that put people under non compete contracts and say you can't do this, you can't do that. I don't do that. So if other people do that and they mad about that, that's them. You're not gonna get. I'm, I'm not that person, bro. If you if you want, so you can't a, tell me what. I thought you wasn't ducking no smoke. 
I'm not ducking, nigga. So who from Pity and Pay tried to join 18? What if I told you I don't even know her name? What's her IG? I don't know. God damn it. What she look like? She light skin, dark skin. <laughs> What she look like? She likes to hear dark shit. We gonna get to the bottom of this shit. Both. She Michael Jackson. Mm. What if it's multiple? She got alopecia. Yeah, no, I can't. I couldn't give you no um no names on that. But again, hey, listen. All right, all right, all right. What about the girls from eighteen that try to join Pretty and Paid? So is that now, a sign hey, listen, to that's you that something is going downhill? Possibly, but for me, it's for no go because I don't want nobody. I'm I'm be a hundred percent honest with you, and I mean this. This is gonna sound yeah. like a very political answer. Okay. I don't care. I don't want no smoke with nobody. If if you joining me, gonna feel like I'm taking from them, and they feel like oh, Polo got an issue with me. Nah, baby, I'm good. I don't have no issues with nobody. That's how I've been able to do this for so long. That's what I want you to do. We go at the end of the interview. We gonna talk about you and your everybody, messiness. Everybody no, 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 no. <laughs> we gonna talk about your messiness since you want to do this. I'm gonna put you on the spot because let me tell you something. There's a there's the, listen. All attention is it, 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 it is attention and it's views. And there's a such thing as hold on. There's such thing as good heat and yeah. there's a such thing as cheap heat. Sometimes oh, you shit. no. Since the nigga wanna put me on the spot. Sometimes, sometimes, Southside Chief. What I do, what I do, man. You go for motherfucking cheap heat, meaning this. You know everybody going to react to this. And so, for example, if if it's a good album and everybody like it, <laughs> Southside Chief say, sources say, because I'm a nerd, <laughs> sources say that this new album that everyone loves was recorded with AI. That's you. <laughs> Yeah. That's you. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah. cheap heat. Yeah. And so going back to when you say is 18 girls trying to join pretty and pay, whatever, if I've been asked that question, I would say no because I don't do cheap heat. You don't do 12, 12. Hold on, let me, can I talk? Keep going. Keep you going. don't do you 12 doing? years in this yep. by doing cheap heat. I don't got no issues with nobody. I love all the ladies. Every time I DJ, they say, why the fuck are you doing this? For? Why, why he keeps saying, we're going to fuck with the ladies. We gonna fuck. I love all of y'all equally, mama. This is my thing, right? I don't have issues with nobody. Is that true? That's Should a fact. I interview you? Yes, interview me. I have no I'm interview. Not do I don't. That. No, no, nigga. What? We gonna get to that you at the end. Ask, we gonna, no, hey, no, hey, we gonna get that in. I'm gonna let you ask all your questions. No, but no. And then I'm gonna wear your ass out at I've the end. I've never. Bro. I swear to God. I hope bro. this nigga got six SD cards. <laughs> nigga, I'm I on his ass. Hey, look. I swear to God, I've never had an issue with no person on earth, ever in my life. Let me ask you something. What? You had a 56-person list of people that wasn't allowed in the club. Yep. These people coming to me talking about, I'm banned from Tantrum, and I got to beg them and tell them, you're not banned from Tantrum. You have an issue with Southside Chief specifically. Yep. Put my drop on and answer that. Oh, shit. God. Look at him. Now he fucking up. Now, now he want to no, fuck up it, and shit. No, no, no. Hey, listen. You thought you was, hey, listen. You thought you was dealing with a goofball. Not even JS. Praise be to Allah. Now look. <laughs> right. This is all I'm going to say. It wasn't 56. It was more like 9, 12. Name a name that was on that list. Just like you told me to name a name. Nigga, I'm, I do you this like you, you do this. Do no, 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 no. You just told me to name a name. J.S. State Who was on the list. Why was J.S. State on the list? Because I don't like him. Damn, I thought you had beef with nobody. I don't have a problem with nobody on earth. Wow. First off, J be pillow talking. What? You know how many bitches came up to me about this nigga with my name in his mouth? What? Hella bitches. Wow. I mean, not bitches. Well, what was they saying? Hella shit going on, man. What was they saying? Hold on, let me matter. ask you. It let me ask matter. you. Hold on, let me ask you this it real quick. Matter. Y'all, you and him is the same age? No, hell no. Nah. Nigga, don't put me up there with them prehistoric ass niggas, boy. <laughs> the fuck? No, I was. I was no, I was asking that because I'm trying to see how long the beef go back. I got no grades, huh? Oh shit! Y'all didn't get along for how I long? I'll tell you how the beef started. Oh okay. <laughs> so from now, my accord, from my accord, yes. this damn near like a 15, 20 year beef. What? Yeah, no, nah, that shit. Is. Me and Jay. It's, it's, it's this is what I'm talking about when I say he hold on to shit. Hey, listen, no, bro. No, it's not a cheap. Let, let me tell you. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Holding on to it. Let me tell you something. Me and Chief have never ever really interacted until this year, <laughs> yeah. and people don't know this. Me and Chief have never really talked. But let me tell you something. I respect you a lot, 
Likewise. And uh, I appreciate the Live on Lake Street platform and all that. the shit that you've done for Minneapolis. I appreciate that. But with that, that love, you're going to allow me to criticize you a little bit and of not course. take it personal. No, I don't take it personal. You sensitive. You sensitive was. than a motherfucker. I was. I 15 was. years? Actually, I don't give a fuck. Nigga, you don't know what I what it takes to do what I do. Who don't? You don't. Nobody knows. That's like, do you have a kid? No. So a nigga with a kid, I mean, a nigga without a kid can't understand what it takes to what a person. God damn it, I'm drunk. Look, check it out. All I know is if a motherfucker got a kid, the nigga that ain't got a kid supposed to listen to the nigga that got a kid if it comes to advice. That's all I'm saying. Right? Until you a scuba diver, you can't tell me how to scuba dive, nigga. That's all I'm saying. But we're not talking about raising kids. We're talking about you beefing with Head State for 15 years. Nigga, if I'm an electrician and you're a plumber and you want to learn about electrons, shut up and listen to the electrician. That's all I'm saying. I I don't know why I just made that point, but I'm just saying. What, does he not have no kids? He don't got no kids. I don't got no kids. We all ain't got no kids. So what the fuck is you talking about? (laughs) 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 I'm just saying. Listen. I'm just saying. Listen, bro. We good, we good, we good. We good. Explain to me where the J State beef started with you. Oh, the beef with me personally. Once upon a time, y'all used to do interviews. I used to watch them. J State was going hard. That's why I really don't know why niggas hate on me because I don't fuck with Jay and I let them come on three times. Mm. There's a lot of niggas I don't fuck with. I done had them come up here. I'm gonna fuck for free and wow. I charge. I just like fuck it. Yeah. Anywho, once upon a time, not long ago, J State did some shit at Red Sea. Open mic. This is like I'm talking about. I when I was 17, I feel like. What year was that? I was born in 91. What year was how old 91 was he? plus 17. It was like 2000. What? 2000 something. 18. No, but 14. 2008. 2010. 2010. Yeah, 2010. Around 2010. Ooh, so that's man. 14 years ago. I was in school. Yeah, this is good beef. Yeah. I was I was in school too. Don't tell nobody. I graduated. But I was still From college? No. I I was a super senior, super duper senior. But I went to Studio 4, though. Mm-hmm. Niggas ain't finna graduate and leave Studio 4. Mm-hmm. You been to Studio 4? No, sir. Oh, okay. You got to go to Studio 4. They got, nigga, the, the, the drum tracks for Pimple Butterfly, Kendrick Lamar? Yeah. They did that in the studio at Studio 4. That's hard. Yeah. Fourteen year olds. Like, yeah, I would. I would. You're not gonna leave that if you school could. If you could. 17. Um. If you could could connect that, bro. I would love to go up there and do whatever. You go up I there. We got a Facetime. No, PC no, no. I'm talking about. Side. I'm talking about giving them a check or something. Like oh, actually yeah. doing something like with making the chi- a, with the kids and shit. Yeah. Yeah. Hell yeah. You know whatever they, they need, need bro. Shit. Some, yeah. Buying them some equipment or something, bro. Hell I'll yeah, do that's that. Like my mom and my pops, for real. I told you what uh fair did for me, bro. Like. Yeah. It done. It really opened my eyes to all of this shit. So it's the same. It's the same concept. But back to that bitch from Chester. You called him a bitch ass nigga, bro. I you been called a nigga. You bitch-ass crazy. Bitch-ass bro. I didn't been on live with this. Hey, nigga. listen, this don't got nothing to do with me, bro. Duck, goose, <laughs> duck, duck, goose. Look, check it out. Anyway, Red Sea. I was like seventeen. It wasn't nobody in that bitch. Nobody came with like seven niggas. We want to do our. I got my little song. Whatever the fuck I want to do. It's an open mic night. Okay. He tell me. Oh, no, nah, it don't work like that, man. You got to sign up to perform. It's nobody but me, him, bartenders. About seven niggas. It's like, <laughs> me and this bitch, I mean, I mean, niggas looking at me, I'm like, bro, I mean, I don't know, bro, I'm bullshit. Ever since then, what what's that shit that Drake said? Drake this is what I mean when no, I say, no, 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 no. listen, I told you I love cold. you. This Let is the most sensitive shit I've ever no. heard in my life. No. So you mad at the no. nigga for following the rules? No, no, hell no, hell no, hell no. It's... It's been, it's been, it's it's more on time. Twerk Fest started on my back, nigga. He'll tell you that, nigga. It's it's so twerk. much deeper than that. With all due respect to Twerk Fest, bro. You, you talking about 20? Not this banquet 20, shit that he's doing. This, this yeah, I'm, we talking about the original about the Twerk reboot. Fest. Yeah. I ain't talking about the reboot. We talking about the original. You talking about some shit from 2017 to 20? Man, y'all good, man. You done interviewed him since then three times. We good. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. We're okay. Good. We're good. It's not beef. It's not Look beef. at a therapist Scott. It's not. Yeah. Beef. <laughs> but that's where it originates from. And then since then, you know, I didn't seen the nigga in L.A. I didn't seen this nigga in Atlanta. I didn't. JB in rooms. 
Yeah, J, J, J B and rules. Bro, like, I never, bro. I didn't been in the that's, room. That's what I'm saying. Like <laughs> all this shit, all this shit. The reason why I'm, I'm sparkling I'm a, water. Look, look to the left. J, look, look, look. look. The, the reason fuck? why I'm addressing it like this is because when you really sit down and talk about all this, yeah, y'all don't have no real issue. I don't have no real issue with KK. There's no real issues with. Cam. I don't have a real issue. The nine people you banned, there's no real issues with them. No, 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 no. None of them. No, no, no. There's real issues with them. Oh, okay. Well, then you got to name them because what you talking about? Because a nigga ain't let you do the open mic. No, no, no. Jay, 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 no. Jay, no good and goddamn well. I'm not. I'm not defending Jay State. I'm, I'm Jay, getting on. I'm getting on this Jay nigga ass no right here because he tried to get well. on my ass. All right, what you getting on me? Maybe, maybe it's just something you not. Just saying. ask the question. Ask I, it. Listen, I ain't got no questions in my interview, but right. but because you try to do me like that now. What's up? Reverse Uno. You feel reverse me? Reverse Uno. What? What's the question? No, I'm just saying. We we good. We good on that. Yeah. Bro, like I said, I don't got a problem with nobody on earth. I've never had a problem with no nigga on earth. Everybody got a problem with big church. It's facts. All right. It's a fact. All I ever did in life was me. <laughs> That's a fact, nigga. Man. Like I Can swear to God, to eat? like I I do me, it might rub me the wrong way. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. No, okay. I don't give a fuck. I hear you, gang. All I ever did was me, and I did my best. I tried my best. Listen, I understand where you coming from. And, and, I don't know. I don't know if this applies to you, but I can say that this applies to me. I've learned that there are people out there who yeah. have issues with me that I never knew about. It, yeah. I've never known about. Yes. And so I'm happy, like, I'm saying that to the camera. I'm looking dead in the camera eyes, bro. I'll, the only w- the only way that you win is by being, you know, neutral, Switzerland. Now, nah, Peter Parker did. Um, he did. He did. I would give him that. He definitely uh, yeah. He calmed me down. I don't know if you noticed this whole year. I've really been chilling. You got to chill, bro. Because, <laughs> listen. This bro, there's. Year, really because when you, look at, when you look at this shit, bro, there's no real issues with nobody. I. Nobody smacked my mama. Nobody did nothing to me, bro. Like, I don't have no issues with nobody. Nobody has issues with me. And in fact, the people that people say have issues with me, which you have detailed, which you have yeah. detailed, in fact, I've I've helped them. I've, you know, if they if you're saying that people have said bad things about me or whatever. Nah, you, they, 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 nobody would. Bad about you. Oh, okay. So Kumo might have might have wanted to say something. I don't even know him. No, nah, I just playing. I oh, I'm about to say. I was like, who you got? <laughs> got to know. <laughs> I'm like, I don't, I don't, I don't, Kumo, I don't, who Drake? No, I know who he is, but I, me and him <laughs> never had no Drake. issues neither, bro. Like, like, I'm like, like, like me and him. We, me and him, Kumo have had ten conversations, maybe five. <laughs> You I'm know, just, I played his music a little bit, but come on, bro. I'm just fucking around. This thing is stupid, bro. <laughs> hey, I like it when two niggas that know. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? I told you it's going to be yeah, like that when yeah, I walked yeah, in, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you ain't, ain't no, no amateur This is going to be that shit, you for real. Me, this going to be that shit, Go, go ahead. Ask your, uh, your next question. Man, the next one I got to get into. What? What? <sighs> Let's just get into Monarch. Yeah. Let's take it back. Let's get into Monarch. Amir, yes, the whole situation over there. That was a movie. Yes. Um. For me personally, from what I could see, it was just a little too young for me to attend at the time. Mm-hmm. But you moving from Monarch to Tantrum. That was raw. Yeah. A lot of people couldn't do that. That was raw. A lot of people can't do that. Okay. Shit. Okay. I was just no, gonna no, make no, sure. No, no, Where no, my no. drop? No, that's a fact. I need one of them so y'all can do it right. <laughs> yeah, I got you. No, that's real. But uh, yeah, no, nah, switching venues definitely isn't a um an easy task. Uh, you were able to do that successfully. Mm-hmm. Um, and bigger. And bigger. So, well, you just answered my question. I was gonna say, what do you think was better, or what do you think was a better vibe, or what do you enjoy more, Monarch Nights or Tantrum? Enjoyed more probably Monarch because I was younger. So you, you know how you said it's a young vibe? Yeah. I was, you know, younger in that group. I'm I'm learning the ropes, bro. When I started DJing at Monarch, I still didn't know how to DJ, you know. At Monarch, that's where I met King Louie at, you know. And then I went on the road, seen the world, um, came back, and then I was, you know, able to be on fire at that time and, and, and really have a nice venue and then have another run with Wave Stars, KK, and all them. Mm. So I enjoyed Monarch more. Um, but but tantrum is is crazy. Yeah, tantrum is that shit, dope. bro. Tantrum is dope. It's a nice kit. It's now, but it's just that I'm older, so now it's more. Of, uh, I'm more on business at my right. 
at Monarch, you know, I did, I wasn't so focused on business as much. Matter of fact, fuck, we got to get into this chance of business, nigga. Is you getting bar percentage or not? You can't. First of all, you <laughs> so can you never, can. you can never ask that. Don't ask that. No question. No business question. It's a black-owned platform to sh- to shed light and to shed information. You know what I'm saying? It's not even about me trying to pocket watch, seeing if you, what your deal was compared to what my deal was. Nigga, Friday and Wednesday totally different. Nigga, Friday yeah. and Sunday, Sunday and Wednesday, Wednesday, Thursday. It's all different dynamics in in all of it. Well, I'm gonna say this, and this don't just apply. But the promoters I, I, that's on the come up, the promoters that's on the rise, I'm not finna just like expound like everything that went left with my situation but i'm just trying to see like did you or were you allowed to get any type of bar kickback i'm gonna say that even outside of tantrum every single club has different deals For sure. and, and at tantrum yeah depending on the night yeah. It depends on depending on the night. Depends on what type of deal I'm going to structure. Right. Every Friday is not the same. What I mean by that is, if it's going to be a free Friday, where I'm going to let you know people in free until 11, 30, 12 o'clock. Yeah. There may be possibly that could be discussed, or if I'm bringing V's, G Herbo, Natalie Nunn, right, T Ski, right, Louis Ray, yeah, Beat King. We yeah. talk about all the people R. I brought R. brought in right. the past six months. Yeah. You know, if I'm bringing one of them then I'm going to try to negotiate a way to get my money back. Right. You know what I'm saying? And so am I getting a bar percentage? It depends on the type of night. And that don't just apply to Tantrum. That applies to every club. And any time that a club, it, you know, since there's a black-owned platform and we want to shed light on stuff, if you're going to try and get a bar percentage, that club going to put a bar minimum on you. Yeah. 99% of the time or, they're, they're, or they're, they may not be – or or it's it's not a club night. It's more of a bar night. Yeah. You know, sometimes you could go to like, um, you know, if you go to Dave and Buster's and throw an event, they might give yeah. you a bar percentage off the rip because they're not right. charging at the door or anything. Yeah. You know, so it it really just depends. Have I has there been, you know, I've been working at Tantrum for probably like sixty nights and Union for you know seventy five nights and Monarch at every single club I've worked at. There's been. Nights where I've got nothing from the bar, and there's been nights where I've got something from the bar. Is that due to nothing being made at the bar, or Most is that of, due to the deal that you would negotiate? I don't have no problems sometimes, depending on what it is, yeah. taking a deal that has no bar minimum in it because I bring people out. Well, yeah, it, taking the deal with the no bar minimum is... is so, like, yeah, I've taken deals like that. and then yeah, I, like, and of course, okay, yeah. So, like, so, fuck so, it, I'm going to take it, yeah. Exactly. So, yeah, I mean, is, has, is that happened because they didn't make no... No, sometimes the bar done made money and I still went so home. So, just saying... L- listen, listen tantrum, sometimes the bar done made $8,000, $10,000, $15,000, and yeah. I got $0 from the bar. Likewise. That's a part of hustling, bro. Yep, me too. Okay. <laughs> so, yeah, it ain't, it ain't that, you know, you know... You have to get a deal with a bar minimum where you don't. Some people coming to this shit, man, they looking for way too much. Bring people out. Right. You're going to make money. Exactly. Bring Deliver. people out. Sell tickets yeah. and you're going to make money. That's all I'm focused on, bro. Right. I, I, like I told you, I do four to six events a week. I ain't. Some some people do one event and that's all they. No, I do four to six. So I'm looking at it from a perspective of this. What do I make for a week across four or five events, six events? Right. Right on average, yeah, yeah. You see, so that that's you know, I that's the true answer to that question, bro. No, that's real. That's real. You duck, you, you ducked it pretty nice. You ducked it pretty <laughs> nice. So you said it was giving you about ten percent on average. I didn't say that. They twenty. And I wish twenty twenty five. I, I, listen, if they gave me twenty five percent, what? So hold on, okay. Let, mm, nah, I'm off it. <laughs> See growth, <laughs> growth, <laughs> growth, man. I tell you, all 2024, man, I've been growing I'm like a I'm a fucking Venus flytrap, growing, still chop your head off. <laughs> man, look, I'm proud of you, man. You gotta grow more. It. You gotta man. grow more, bro. That's what that's the plan. We man. gonna that's we gonna I'm... one of these days we gonna get all. The, no, we not. What what what? I'm about to say we gonna get all the people you got beef with. We gonna... I don't beef with nobody, bro. I wake up to people I've never met. To speaking on my business. That's because you do that cheap heat shit. It doesn't matter what I do, nigga. Bro, you can't go on Facebook and then be like, what I do. Okay. Tell them what you I didn't do. do this, but I'm just saying, I'm just giving an example. Yeah. You can't go on Facebook. <sighs> Women act like, okay. 
I, I'll do an easier one. Yeah. You see them girls on Facebook. I hate men. Men ain't shit. Niggas ain't shit. Da da da. I never yeah. been a good daddy. Blah 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 blah. Yeah. And then all of a sudden she like, why do all men hate me? <laughs> That's you, chief. No, it's not. No, it's not. <laughs> no, it's not. No, it's not. No, it's not. No, it's not. I am aware of my shenanigans. Totally different. Have you um? You see on on, on the bro, I don't post who I'm voting for. I don't post like that type of stuff. Is what I'm saying is you you. Get, you pour your heart and soul on the internet. No, I don't. <laughs> like, bro, it's a lot of copy and paste, believe it or not. Okay. It's literally 60% copy and paste. If it has to do with Minnesota, I, I, you don't, I posted you, it. You don't got to give your sauce out. We we record. I mean, no, nah, let them, let them, hey, I need competition, bro. I swear to God. Like, fuck it. Let these niggas, hey, I, 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 I literally, bro, I had beef with a nigga because a nigga literally, a nigga made a diss song about me. Because I told him, he said he wants he gonna start a podcast. I'm like, nigga, let me know if you need help with anything. Oh no, don't tell me we gonna need help. We gonna be good. I'm like, man, bro, I'll be here if you need me. This is, hey, bro, it's best for you not to. <laughs> Next day, <laughs> nigga, put a diss track out about. It. Yeah, that's a. Am I beef? Is that beef? No, Am that's I beefing a, with him. No, but what I'm saying is that's like, a. Part, that's like, what come with the territory of being known. Yeah. You know, I don't have people. I don't have people. Beef with nobody, bro. I wake up every day. I literally once a week for the last three, once a week or once a month for the last three years, I wake up, somebody's saying something, something live on Lake Street. I'm like, I don't know you, I don't owe you. That happened That happened to me too, but listen, when it happens, I don't feed it no attention. I'm not, I've, listen, if you say something bad about me, you're that. not getting, a, you're not getting anything. Look, I don't even be on Facebook. It's too much. I've done that. I just, I just want, I want to. There's a couple things that are getting Man, let out. somebody that mention isn't... live on Lake Street. Yo ass finna crash out. Nope. Nope. <laughs> JSA did it four times this year. Well, y'all have a 20 year right? beef. You... And that on top of it. With, with extra shit. Every time he says something about me. You ain't say nothing? Nope. You would you would know. You would know if I said Okay. Nigga, you know how much shit on y'all. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> like I said, I don't follow you. I don't follow. Man, listen. I'm telling you. When I say I'm, I'm out the way. I don't no, follow y'all. I don't no, follow no, this shit. Your <laughs> Go ahead. We already there. No, nah, Jay Diddy got, got what he's what he got coming. What? Yeah. Jay Diddy. No, you ain't saying that. That's Jay no, Diddy, yeah. Don't do that on that's my Jay interview. Diddy. <laughs> Jay Diddy. That's Jay Diddy. Bro, don't do that on my interview, bro. No, that's facts. <laughs> no, he gonna think we in cahoots. I swear to God. <laughs> oh, I don't you don't know. like him either. No, I don't know him. <laughs> I don't have nothing. I don't know him. nigga either. But he can make a status about me. You do know him. You interviewed him. I know. I, didn't interview I know him, but we don't have no relationship. We don't have no good relationship or bad relationship. But you never know, put that in my interview. You're wildin', bro. I'm telling the truth. <laughs> You're wildin', Jay Diddy. Goddamn. I, I don't know how to say it. Next question, please, bro. <laughs> Next question: What's your relationship like with Jay Diddy? I just told have you. Have you seen or heard any of the allegations? Of no, him, oh, bro. No, of him. No. Um. Supposedly withholding nine. Nah, Come on, man. That's I'm what get I'm out saying. On him to his face. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> you call. You call. You call. You call. You call. You call. Man, look. This is what we're gonna do. All right. Now it's time for the best part of the interview. It's rapid fire. It's called Word on the Block. Bet. I just made it up. Okay. Word on the block. You trying to get in Vanquish. Man, I will work anywhere if the business is right. Huh? Where you will and where you're trying are two different things. I, I haven't contacted them or asked them to work there. You haven't contacted Vanquish? No, never. Have you contacted anybody? You had to, you might have to um, let them in there. Um, or is it open? Cracked open? Leon, well, you cracked my door open there. That's a safety violation. And criminals in this motherfucker. <laughs> the fuck, the fuck going on? God damn, this shit crazy. But uh, yeah, man, I heard you trying to book some venues out there. I mean, some uh, some shows out there. I'm gonna just say this, bro. I have not contacted. Vanqu have you been to Van Vanquish? I've never even stepped foot in there. Ah, uh, I've never even stepped foot in there. But let me tell you something though. Uh, you're lying. Since you brought this up, don't lie. No, I'm you not lying. Lie. 
<laughs> if I'm if it's a time I forgot, then maybe. But. I heard from a bird. What you talking about, bro? That you came there about seventy deep. Oh, you talking about this story? This is a true story. Hey, no, this is, I didn't go inside because of that. All right, tell the story. We was um, pretty and pay had just started. KK was still with me or whatever. We had booked. We had got booked to do Boston Richie at Vanquish. Yeah. And I told them I was bringing 30 girls. Yeah. That's what Pretty and Paid is. When I say I'm bringing 30 girls, we yeah. bringing 30 girls. Bro, we got there, and they said 10 of y'all can get in free. You got to pay for 20. And they charging 50 a head. Yeah. So basically, they telling me I'm booked to host, yeah. but I had to pay $1,000 for my team to get in. And so at that point, I just was like. Or you're booked to host. And we got you plus 10. The team literally says, I'm, I told, I, I, again, I got text, bro. I said, I'm bringing 30 girls. All right. 30 women is uh -huh. coming with me. Uh -huh. And I showed up with 30 women, 29 to mm -hmm. be exact. And they said, you have to pay for 19. And I think that because this was before Vanquish was moving, this was their first event. They It was just a, a, a shock to them. like, And so they didn't really know. Security didn't know, whatever. And me, me being who I am in this, I'm like, We'll leave. So you went to the Boston Richie show. We showed up. I got videos. We mm -hmm. showed up with 29 girls. Yeah. They try and charge me for 19 girls. Yeah. And I'm like, we're the host. And they like, well, you still got to pay because you only getting 10 in. Mm. And I'm like, y'all booked us. I told you 30. Right. And they just didn't necessarily like, they was this, this was literally their first event. Type shit. Yeah. So yeah. they... You know, you know how that go with your first people scrambling and listen. I'm like, we'll just leave. Yeah. We'll just leave. If I can't get everybody in with me for free, I'm not finna tell these girls they gotta pay 50 a piece. I'm not finna pay for them. That's it. We'll leave. Y'all yeah. figure it out next time. And then we left. And that was that was the situation that with that. It. That's the story. You know, I I'm not going for that, bro. I had to at the door, I'm like, what the fuck is y'all talking about? I don't necessarily blame them 100% because they hadn't done events before that. Right. And I think this was like on a Wednesday or Thursday. Or Some something. random shit. Yeah, yeah. That's all it was. Like, you know, y'all not finna charge us and you booked us. Right. And for them, I don't think they, maybe they thought I was capping about bringing 30 people. Right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, I still got the videos, all that shit. You could put it, you know, put it in the frame, bro. You could show us walking up. I'm walking up. It's 29 I, girls. I would love nothing more than to do that. Yeah. Yeah. We, <laughs> With this audio attached to it. I'll send it. I'll send it to you, bro. Like, you can see me walking up. You can see yeah. it's all on camera, bro. I'm not like, I ain't got no reason so to So, what's your relationship there. with Chase a Bag? I, I knew him since we was kids or Currently, whatever. Currently, though. I don't speak to him. I but I haven't speak. It's not because of the vacation. So you shit. went from knowing this nigga from kids. We used to we used to collab on events or whatever. How, how old is kids? High school. So fourteen to eighteen. Yeah, in that range. So I know. You know I know him at least twelve years. Yeah, and I know I know his big brother too. Like we was cool or whatever. We used to do events together, and we had um, D Gaines was a mutual friend between us. Mm -hmm. You know who D Gaines is right from Chicago. No. Oh wait, wait no, 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 Devin Lights Gaines. Lights yeah, 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 yeah. He passed yeah, away, yeah, bro. No. He was he was yeah, about to be yeah. a, a, a a real promoter in the city, like a yeah, real no, force. No, no, no. I'm just yeah. So yeah, RP, yeah, yeah, we we did all those events together, or whatever. And then um, you know he I don't know what happened in his life or whatever. I started doing the Louis shit, and then I I, I did Monarch and all that, and he he stopped promoting for a period of time. Right. And then he was the one who booked us on that Vanquish show. Where it was Boston Richie and we showed up with the twenty nine girls, right? And then he was the one who Did said, he "Pay, yeah, of course, it's a booking." I'm just asking because man. the money, like with Pretty and Paid, I'm gonna take that money and buy them a bunch of bottles. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you I'm gotta gonna, accommodate. Yeah, so delegate. All he's, of that. He, you know, he was like, "Okay, I ain't gonna give you no bottles. Okay, pay, and I'll buy my own bottles." Right. You know what I'm saying? And then, so I was going, I was actually finna, I was coming in there to go crazy. I was yeah. coming in there and buy five, ten bottles. Yeah. You know, and then um. He booked that, and then I got there, and he was the one saying, you can only get in 10. And I'm like, bro, I don't know you my whole life. Like, you know, whatever. And then after that, you know, I told him, you know what? It is what it is. And we we walked away. And, you know, I haven't really spoke to him since then. Do you he, have a relationship with the owner? I don't even know who the owner is, I swear to God. I've never contacted Vanquish. That's what you're not getting, bro. I don't right. know who the owner is. I don't. You don't have a hint. 
I know his name, but I I don't know him. Why do you know him? Like, do he know me? I don't, I don't, I don't know. I'm just asking questions. No, I don't. I don't I, 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 I don't. I've never been there. Like, I've yeah. never stepped foot in there. I've never um emailed them for a booking or had a meeting with them or nothing. Right. You know. But I will say this: You asked me, "Am I trying to get in there?" That's where the question came from. Yeah. I've never contacted them before. But let me just say this: What about rain? Never. Hmm. Not one time. Hey, you in the rain? I swear to God on Jesus Christ, I've never walked in there one time in my life. I worked. No rain had two waves. Okay. So you ain't go to the first wave? No. Second wave. I work on weekends. I DJ. If I'm yeah. if why the fuck I'm gonna be in the club for six events a week and then my one day off I'm going there. No, that makes sense. You know, I don't go outside unless I'm working. Right. But listen. Same. <laughs> I didn't know that them venues was eighteen plus. Let me tell you that something. Just that's, I think that's new. Nigga. I think that's new. If I get an 18 plus venue that holds a thousand people, everybody gonna get rich. Yeah. That's the Mark, yeah. I promise you, I yeah. never contacted yeah. them, but go ahead and put the idea in my head. Yeah. I don't care if it's a Monday. <laughs> yeah, so yeah. That you know 18, what I do. No, that's a cheat code. You 18, know what I do. 18 is a cheat code. What? 18 is a cheat code. Give me an 18 plus 18 venue. Are you crazy? Code. Yeah. That's a cheat code. Are you crazy? So, no, I never have, but yeah. if I would have known that, then damn, you, what? Yeah. I thought them was 21 plus venues, you know? And so, I never really, like, at 21 plus, a thousand people is a, a low. Yeah, that's a At 18 plus, you don't even got to be popping. You just got to say, our doors are open and we letting kids in. <laughs> Polo said it, not me. Leave me out of this. No, I'm serious. I'm serious, though. Like, that. That's that you can win off of that, bro. Especially you know my shows cheap. You know I put up my own money. That's that's. I never had an investor. Yeah, yeah. Man, what do you know? What I would do with that venue, bro? I already know. Come on, man. Well, why don't you try to reach out? It ain't like because I just right now I'm booked. I mean, I'm, I'm not saying I won't, actually, because you done gave me the idea. God damn it. Thank you. 10%, 10% <laughs> for this Thank manager. you. No, but really, I'm actually trying to scale back, bro, because I'm too, you know, I, I got I got a no, real I Monday through Friday, shit, you know, and the then. The more you do, the more, yeah. I just ain't had no time, and I got deals, and I'm. I'm not walking away from deals with people. You know, if I if I if I'm booked on Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, I'm gonna be booked on those days. I'm not walking away, especially with the deals. I'm grateful for the opportunities that all of these club owners done gave me, bro. Definitely. You know? Yeah. No, that makes sense. That makes sense. I'm trying to think it's gotta be something else. Like a pick your brain about did the camp shit we gave did a tell all about that, a heart to heart on camp. Had to get that off. You your did chest. hard to <laughs> <laughs> Had to get that can't banish it off your chest. Let me see. Hmm. Tennis on my night. <sighs> Were you at Winter Jam? No. You didn't go to Winter Jam? I think I was booked that night. That's what I mean when I say, like, when you're booked. Yeah. I don't really have time to go out. Yo, top five DJs. And you can't say A1. You can't say That's Nooski. The, you can't say... I got to say A1. I got to say them. You can't say A1. You can't say... No, no, no. Hell no. I did this to KK too. I don't listen to them. Yeah, actually, I didn't do this to KK. Yeah. <laughs> I just yeah. About it. But I had him shout out some hosts though. But he shouted out a nigga. I was like, damn, I should have told you you can't shout that nigga out. But um, let me see. Let's do artists. I can give you uh, artists. Uh, we going to do that too. We're oh, okay. We're definitely going to get a, a Mount Rushmore from you. You're going to get hate from that. No, I'm not. Yeah. Well, I'm how not. many artists you know? Bro, I I can tell you how many artists I've worked with. How I'm many not. artists you work with? Nigga, you can talk to Nelly Rich. He's going to be on the list for... Hey, work, how many... No, 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 no. That's not... The, the, we're not listing. How many artists have you worked with? When you say work with, like I play and have a relationship with? You tell me. Tay Su Supreme? No, I'm not asking the names of these artists. Numbers. At least at least 10, 15, shit. Sorry, well, you're going to have to narrow it down to four. You know, Rushmore is four. Oh. So that means six niggas going to be pissed, regardless. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, it's just numbers. It's how it works. Okay. Yep, yep. So you want me to name my four? No, no, no. We not. Talk we ain't get to the artist shit. You trying to skip over? See, I'm, I'm still here. Okay, go ahead. I'm what do you, here. what you want, bro? DJs, I'm a no Nooski. Shout out to Nooski. He, he been on here. Shout out to A1. We gonna get you on here. Um, no ones. No, uh, no political. I can't tell you no more DJs in. Like I can't tell you like if I can't name them, A one gonna be in my top four DJs, bro. 
Sorry. You got me. me. I ain't say nothing about me. Okay, I mean, what? Shout out. You DJ Kirk, one, two. I'll probably say uh, A1 got to be there, bro. No, no, man. None of that political shit. I can't, I hate it ain't you. political. He better than niggas. What are you talking no, about? But I'm saying, but it, y'all all in the goddamn house, nigga. If I ask Birdman, who f- I don't want to hear him say Drake and Wayne, nigga. Well, then Drake is still Drake. I know. Whether he signed to me right, or not, Drake is Drake. Of Drake and Wayne, nigga. Who? I want to know. So I was. Give okay, like, I'll, I'll give you. All right, I'll give you some more. I'll give you some more. I'll give you some more. Ray, it's, it's some niggas that look up to you watching this right I'm now. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say Ray Mills for open. What's wrong with Ray Mills? No, that's my nigga. <laughs> that was that was fucking. Damn. Up. Bro, I, I, I just wanted. To bro, hear you names. don't want me to name no, no, nobody. No. I don't even hey, no, work Ray, with Ray hey, Mills Ray, like you watching this. Hey, Ray, no, that was fucked up. No, I fuck with Ray. He's from the South Side. This is what I'm, I'm saying. I'm gonna give you. I'm gonna give you. Okay, Tunzi. Do you know DJ Tunzi? Tunzi, no, I ain't heard the name. Okay, he's on the list. All right, Tunzi. And Tozy too. It's two different dudes. Tunzi and Tozy should probably be on the list. I'll let that slide. If, if you take, if you say can't all everybody out that you named, I can't name Ray. I can't name Ones. I can't name Nooski. I can't name A One. I can't name none of them. And Slumpy, you can't name him either. You named all the DJ. It's only thirteen DJs in Minnesota. No, it's not. So who am I missing? Young Star. Okay. Tech. Okay. Um. I'll Inferno. tell you if they on the list or not. Inferno. I just gave you a three P. Look, well, let's keep going because I'm two t- of them. Two of them. One is for uh, X, whatever the fuck XM, and one works for the Wild. I got it. These got, big dogs. You know about these big dogs. Okay, but so you are we talking about? Give are we talking about? And what I do? DJs are we talking about? It? Okay, so that's listen. Outside of your camp. Well, if we talking about, are we talking about DJs that we gotta clarify the criteria? I just said it. We talking about tearing outside down clubs or are we talking about corporate events? Because if you DJ for the Wild. That's good. That's a bag for you. Yeah. But that don't mean that you're going to be able to come in the tantrum gold room, yeah, that wrong. you're going to be able to come in the, <laughs> you know. Up. Why you hating on your star like that? I'm not. That's my dog. That's my dog. <laughs> Just because you went to white boys with the huggy pucks <laughs> don't mean you can do you the shit that, that I do, nigga. You saying that. I will put Mick on the list, though. Mick can do clubs like a motherfucker, bro. <laughs> yeah, no. Nah. But you got um, your star fucked that. That was foul. Nah. <laughs> I gave you my list, bro. Who? You said you even so I said Toonzy, and I said uh, Mick. Oh, that, oh I, I need one more. Um, I'll probably say um, Ones. You know, me and Ones don't work I together, no though. Ones. I said no one. Why not? He, I don't know. He booked. I'm, you know, we just never have worked together. We, we we have done small events together, but we haven't. You know. I got a story with Ones, <laughs> but I'm going to wait for him to come up here to tell that story. Okay. It, got, it involved me? <laughs> no, no, no. Oh, uh, okay. He kind of like one of my situations back in the day. Okay. But. Still Dave from St. Paul. You know Dave? Dave, nope. Okay. Slumper will probably be on the list, too. I know you said I can't say him. I don't know why I can't, why I can't say something. Because I know y'all all in the same So you mad at me for having with. friends, bro? No, I'm just saying, bro. If I hit up this nigga's fucking weird, bro. Batman, I don't want you to suggest me Superman. You named nigga, eight niggas, Think of a, super, a superhero or a supervillain that's well, not I gave you four, shit. I gave you four. The right? same thing I asked KK, bro. Shout out a host, nigga. That ain't, even though I ain't double down how I'm double down on you, but he remind me like, yeah, I double You didn't down. give him, hey, listen, I know this much. What? You didn't give him half the smoke you gave me. No, nigga, 21. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look, look. Hey, now you see what I'm saying? You, you 21. Look, he, look, he, no, but I gave it to him, though. No, you didn't. It's not like this, bro. No, 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 no what? not even I asked close. him about all this shit. No, but I not even. Pretty and pay, I asked him about 18. I asked him about So how he duck it? He didn't duck it. What he say? He said, "Oh, I said you gotta wait till Tuesday." He said, "My opportunities." <laughs> you gotta wait till Tuesday. <laughs> hey, just know that clip. Polo Scott mimics KK. What Better you be mean? careful. That ain't, you, I, I didn't say nothing bad. You about just that. mimicked him right now, guy. live. Oh, oh, you talking about when he? No, nah, yeah, I would have said that to his face too, though. Bro, this is my little brother, bro. Like you, you currently know, this is your little brother. No, but you no. get into it with your people, so it's like uh, you never got to with step, your family. Your step brother. <laughs> He like stepchild. This nigga's this nigga's slow, bro. Oh, you're not shit. gonna you're not gonna make me do that. He a little step, bro. So let me. Can I ask you some questions, bro? Please, please, bro. Please. What is this uh shit going on? That's they they talking about Minnesota only supports popularity and not talent. I don't give a fuck. I've worked hard to get popular as fuck, nigga. No, but explain it to me, though. I don't what get you it. What do you mean? I don't get it. it what are they trying what to say? Is. What are they trying to say? They're trying to say that, nigga, you can't get support unless you're popular. 
nigga. And, everybody started at ground zero, nigga. Period. At the end of the day, if you feel like you ain't popular, do what it takes. Okay. Fuck. Bro, that don't make no sense to me because, look, all right. Minnesota supports popularity and not talent. This I'm gonna get somewhere, and the reason why it came, why this, why it impacted me. Yeah, yeah. Do you think Sexy Red is the most talented female rapper? You think she's better than Rhapsody, Tierra Whack? Do you think she's better than Lotto at rapping? I, you asking the wrong person, that. Okay, I am. But everybody you answer the question. For Lotto. Hold on, no, 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 no. Wait, wait, for Lotto. wait, wait, wait. Everybody I need you to answer Lotto. the question because yeah. you know what the fuck I'm saying. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I need you to answer. Okay. Do no. you think Sexy Red is a great singer when she said, no. "Oh, baby"? You just started that. Do you think she's a great singer? No. But she's the most popular, right? Yeah. Do you think Donald Trump is the best politician ever? No. But he won a presidential election. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Life, I'm sorry, y'all. Y'all, everybody, you have to understand that y'all running businesses. Yeah. Just because you can say diabolical, trigonometry, isological, you have to market yourself. This is capitalism. This is America. America. Yeah, literally. Okay. You Donald Trump is not the best politician, but he he became president. You know, Sexy Red is not the best singer or rapper, but she. Some understands pop. that popularity yeah. is what pushes you have to market yourself it ain't just based on talent i'm sorry Hell no. just because you could dj with your left hand backwards yes <laughs> yeah that shit don't matter it's about how many people that's life i'm sorry y'all y'all you, that that's it's just really, it's really three spectrums into making it it's talent it's your your um business acumen and fucking who you know yeah I I agree with that 100. percent It ain't just. And you had to have all three. If That's you think if you part. think that you just talented and yeah. then you're supposed to be a millionaire because you can do so, no, you got to be professional. That's yeah. what he's talking about when he say business acumen. Yeah. You got to know somebody who can open a door for you. You yeah. brought up Amir. You brought up Jado. Yeah. You got to know somebody. You, gotta you brought up Ch- yeah. Chalo. Yeah. You have to know somebody who can help you. And then you have to have the talent. Once the door is open, yeah. Yeah. once you're professional, yeah. then you got to be able to. You can't just be. I rap better than everybody. Why, Look, I'm supposed to be on. Talent only open you to the door full of a bunch of more talented motherfuckers. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> but like, you know, you know why this why this impacted me though? Yeah. Because I just booked B King. Oh, yeah. And B damn, King was man. probably, you know, he might have been um, he might have been the last artist. I might have been his last show. Right. It is based on his page. I was the last show that he posted. Yeah. And, you know, I see all these people. In Houston, popping up on my timeline because the algorithm, because B King passed away. Right. And I see people saying, B King should have been bigger. He had all these bangers. But Houston don't support talent, it only supports popularity. They saying that. So I'm like, oh, okay. So on the Minnesota ag- algorithm, y'all saying this. Right. On the Houston algorithm, they saying this. Right. In Cleveland right now, it's a nigga that can rap. Yeah, but he not popular. Right. So what I'm saying is, it this is not a Minnesota issue. No. This is life. Exactly. You have to be popular so your talent can be showcased. Once you know the formula, it's like once you know better, do better. Exactly. Or it's just insanity. Exactly. Literally. Like once that, you know that shit, all right, now go ahead and get popular. Nigga. Yeah, it, it, exactly, bro. Easy, it ain't easy. just, <laughs> yeah. bro. It ain't just. Oh, I can rap better than y'all. Or I could DJ better than y'all. Or I, I'm the best graphic designer. Okay, well now you have to do a, a Instagram campaign to to advertise that right, you're the so best graphic. Can know this. Yes, so people can notice. It don't just you wake up out of bed and people will just be like, oh, he posted a song, he got six views, and now all of a sudden he platinum. No, hell no, hell no. You know, so but that that B King shit kind of fucked me up because I'm like, it was crazy how both of the like conversations merged, and I yeah. seen somebody from Houston post. Yeah. Houston doesn't support talent it only supports popularity i'm like this is the city everybody talking about right. and you know there's artists from houston who have blown up you know like uh i think uh you interviewed manolio Man, uh, manolo uh, Man, uh, i can Mona i don't know her Leo. name mona leo, mona leo. Yeah, yeah, yeah she's from yeah, houston right yeah she's from houston yeah. okay she ain't with all due respect to her yeah. b king was more talented than her she got bars no but b king can well, show you making a beat can mix the if record you go from Prince to Michael Jackson yeah, yeah it does. shorty got bars though. no she can rap I'm not yeah. disrespecting her but yeah. I'm just saying B-King was 
talented yeah, as fuck. Because he's engineering and what? He's, he's you know, you know, DJ Chose and all them, bro. Yeah. DJ Chose can make country records, can make uh, 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 hip hop records, can produce. Yeah. You know, uh, uh, hey, all the songs same, for Kevin you Gates. Can say the same argument with Megan Thee Stallion and B King. Yes, B King more talented than Megan Thee Stallion. Megan Thee Stallion more popular. That's life. Yeah, Carl Crawford put probably five hundred thousand behind Megan Thee Stallion in Houston yeah. alone. Yeah, that's life. You popularity is is a part of the the equation. Marketing, business acumen, and who you know. Exactly. I mean, uh, talent is is the once the door is open, it's the last, you know, yeah, thing. You you can get yeah. on with no talent if you if, if you, you know. know the right people. <laughs> if you know the right people, got the right business acumen, fuck talent. Exactly. <laughs> like, I guess you only need two out of three. You need a little bit of talent because what you was about to say about sexy red when you say I'm at, sexy red is talented because she doing that shit on purpose. Yeah. A lot of people don't. You know, we don't have to get you know into. What we I don't think have about to explain sexy that. Red, to actually, them. I think she broke. The, the old formula. What you mean? Because I believe Cardi B had the new old formula, which was process. Drop a, sing, drop a single, do features. Sexy Red came out and ain't stopped. It's kind of the same thing. I think. I think they're both. Downtown dropped fifteen I think, months ago. But I think they're both singles artists. Hold like on, how many? How many albums did Sexy Red sell though? I don't 20, know. 28K? It really doesn't matter. They're all singles artists. Sexy Ice Red Spice. Is top five. Could be top three. In what? Female artists, period. No, not period. Right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. Mm-hmm. She could be. She's definitely top five. I think I, I think Sexy Red. And I'm not talking lyrics. I'm, I literally, I'm not I literally lyrics. think the exact opposite of you. And mm-hmm. what, I, what I'm saying is this. I think. Cardi- As a DJ, I guarantee hold you play more sexy than any other. No, bitch. no, no, no. I'm not talking about that. I'm saying when you yeah. say she took Cardi formula and flipped it. No, I said she she didn't take her formula. She did the opposite. In- innovated her own. And that's what I'm saying. I I disagree yeah. with. I okay. think she did exactly what Cardi B did. I'm a singles artist. Yeah. That's it. I'm a okay. woman that's gonna go crazy. I'm gonna talk about sexuality. I'm gonna do shock value. Yep. I'm gonna say things that you, I'm gonna be. I'm gonna heavily lean into Instagram. Yeah. Cardi B was always funny on Instagram. Yeah, that's sexy, really where she blew. Sexy Red Facebook is Facebook and Instagram. Sexy Red is very funny on Instagram. Then it went and to then I'm gonna follow it with music. Yeah. Cardi B ended up having babies. Sexy yeah. Red had a baby, but but you know she didn't have a public relationship. Yeah, a public relationship and that. Yeah. So I, I think they're actually one and the same. I think Sexy Red is just an evolution of Cardi B. What song came out after Pound Town? Ski Yee. All right, that's my point. The song that came out after Bodak Yellow was. Barty or Cardi? Nope. Yeah, it was. No, no, no. Well, yeah. This, but her next audio that we heard was the song with the white boy. What about Rich Baby Daddy? What about. um? No, but those are features after. But white boys don't exist no more, though. So so what you're saying is. Okay, what you're saying Cardi is, right? Did a different feature, though. But Cardi but, did two different features after her Bodak Yellow. But listen. Music changed. It wasn't that Sexy Red was just this innovator. But no. Maroon 5 ain't hot no it's more. Not, it's not even about her being innovative. That used to be the formula for new artists. Like, if you're a new artist, you drop your one single. Before you drop your second single, if you really going to go to that next level, you ha- you give him a ver- you give whoever a verse, and that's going to make the people want you. Possibly, but I'm saying music changed. Who did this shit before? The a baby. lot of people. The baby. He came out with Suge, and then he did the remix with uh with Post White Malone, no, with Post Malone, with every, with everybody, with Rockstar, with, he did Nas, all the shit. But what I'm what I'm trying to tell you is that style of music. You're yeah. talking about a different genre of music that doesn't exist anymore. It's not the at, baby's one or two years removed from sexy Red's genre. You don't think music changed, bro? It has, but he's one or two years away. I remember when I was DJing at Monarch, and um, you could not get rid of drill music. Yeah. For example, Lil Durk, uh, songs blowing up out of nowhere. They done let the GDs in the dough. You know, they, they, you could not get rid of that shit. Music changed to now. Music is ass-shaking. Yeah. It is sexy red. It is, you know, that, that style. Of, even the baby, Shake Some. Yeah. You know, it's... It's ass shaking music now, and and one thing that also went out the door when music changed was, I don't think pop stars are the biggest artists anymore. They're not even close. At the time that you're talking about when when Cardi B gave them features out, that was five years ago in 2018. And yes, she did features with Maroon Five and all them. Listen, these days Maroon Five can't hold a candle to Drake versus Kendrick Lamar. 
Back hell then? Nah, hell no. Nah. Back then? That was crazy. They would have had long nights. We could go on Kendrick and Lamar. I mean, Kendrick yeah. and Drake. We don't. We don't. Right? We don't got. That's why I said we that's go crazy. for three hours. That, that was that, that was crazy. Cause I was into that. Even though I was living life, but I was into that shit live. I'm like, damn, they really still. It was literally like Titans fighting. Twenty minutes when, later, when it comes to music. Yeah, twenty minutes later, bro. Yeah. Like, and if you uploaded anything to DSPs, you know that's almost damn near impossible. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, because they moving too fast. They, was, like that. they was moving too fast, bro. You can't upload nothing in 30 minutes. Yeah, yeah. So you got to be a different, you got to have a different level of access. They they wasn't they servicing do. the records. They weren't doing nothing. Yeah. That's shit. So who you think won? Well, it's obvious Kendrick won. Kendrick won, but does that mean he had a better song? I, I think Family Matters, the way that Drake was rapping on that song. Drake was going crazy on oh both of them bitches. Oh, my God. Really on push? I hate the He got part. outstarted. He, I yes. mean, excuse me, not outstarted, outsmarted. Yeah. As far as rapping yeah. and the way that he shot Family Matters video with all B-roll, and, he, and the way he had Kendrick just open his mouth. Yeah, I, that Somebody going to give me I a hated that. He could have cut that out. When it could have been well, if what well, the way Kendrick would have did it was that was a separate song. Drake yeah. dropped three songs all yeah. at once as a seven minute song. Yeah, he really dropped four, four cause push -ups because push-ups. Because push-ups. Yeah, 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 yeah. And so Drake, Drake, low key got beat at his own game. But I mean, man, when he had the when he had Pharrell chains on in the house yeah. with the dude, yeah. we seen what he was on. But it was just like, no, Kendrick's just more prepared than you. The thing is, Drake dug himself. Drake. Made Kendrick go full West Coast. You should yeah. never grab Pac. That's what made it a West Coast thing. Yeah. You should never grab Snoop. I forgot about that. Yeah, that's the one that goes under the tuck because it's like you got you got uh, push ups and then you got Family Matters. But the one that made it a West Coast thing, like nigga, yeah. what? He tweaked. That whole. He tweaked. Like, you think the that's what I'm saying. He got outsmarted. Like, yeah, he got like, outsmarted. It, yeah. He lost when when somebody drops a diss record on you and that yeah. motherfucker go number one. Yeah. For 12 weeks, yeah. six weeks. And I didn't even know. I, I just seen this shit on YouTube. I guess the, I don't know which, is it 414 four, in LA or whatever the fuck it was. But uh, I guess one of the diss tracks was a close up of the second diss tracks album cover or the cover art. Cause I guess he had like pills and the, yeah. and the, and the whole shit. So he posted that. 616 in LA. Yeah, he posted that first. And then I guess on the second one, he zoomed out with even more shit. I'm like, oh, damn. I had just seen this like two days ago. Yeah, like, they was oh, going crazy. He cold. Hey, my man's downstairs, bro. Can you grab him? He downstairs. But yeah, all right. You, I guess I guess you're right, man. You answered the DJ question, or the artist question. Top three. Big three. The big the big three of Minnesota. I can't say the big three of Minnesota. Because it's, it's so many. What like, if I give my big three? Go ahead. After you. Okay. I feel like all the Minnesota artists, we all trying to break through. So no artist is necessarily bigger than the, uh, the next artist. It's all, all of them around, you know. No, no, no. 5,000. The difference from them niggas that perform at Tantrum and the niggas that perform at. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what you about to say? I said what I had to say. <laughs> it's a difference. Though. You stupid. <laughs> it's a difference. It's a difference. I think. um. I we think all had to go to these artists is not the artist I'm gonna say is not the biggest artist because none of them to me yeah. are big yet. Yeah. I feel like I'm going off of whose music I listen to, who I fuck with. Yeah. Um, Nelly Rich, when I want to be on some rock star, Playboy yeah. Cardi type shit, raw as fuck. Taste Supreme, a vet in this shit, bro. Yeah. It's crazy. Little brother got like 10 years in this bitch yeah, but, now. But right? Tay Supreme can yeah. rap, though. He can yeah. rap his ass off. I like Tay Supreme. Yeah. I like Queen Hevo. I like... um. I've just been getting hip to her. Yeah, she got to drop more. That's yeah, her problem. I've just been getting hip to her. She got to drop more. She got to be more consistent. She got to decide, like, this is what I'm doing and then yeah. really go in. But she can rap. She can rap. Okay. Um, You said three, but I probably keep... I can name yeah, some keep more. Going, keep going. Keep going. Keep um, going. Bapo, you know Bapo? Bapo, yeah. Bapo. The yeah. biggest. Capo, <laughs> yeah. But you know he down there got like, um, he got a lot of songs with Louis Ray. Like them niggas yeah. locked in and he just waiting to drop that shit, you know? Yeah, but yeah. He, he raw. And, um, and that's uh, one person, that's another artist that's not scared to invest into him. So. No, at all. Yeah. At all. He just getting started, bro. He yeah. just getting started. So like, that's what I mean when I say I'm not going to name the biggest artist. I know it's artists getting more views. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? 
Um, like you can name like uh, Tracing gonna get more views than a lot of people, bro. Yeah, yeah. You know, um, uh, Enzy kind of on that Nelly, yeah. yeah. But you know, so I fuck with them artists too. But I'm I'm just saying the people that I'm listening to in my car. Yeah, I I fuck with Nelly, bro. Like yeah. I really be listening to Nelly shit, and um. Bapo be sending me his shit and I be fucking with it. Yeah, no, Bapo got some cold shit. Yeah. I forgot what sample he used on some shit. Man, bro, bro, Bapo got a song where he's singing. That shit funny as hell, yeah. bro. <laughs> was it T-Pain joint? I don't, yeah, 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 that's the song yeah, I'm talking about. Joint, that, it's yeah. actually, that uh, shit slay, I'm like, this nigga, bro, he talking about Polo, I got some shit I'm about to sing. I said, bro, don't ever put that out, bro. Yeah. And then I listened to it, I'm like, oh, okay. This okay. shit got this yeah, shit yeah, yeah. it's a little vibe, bro. So that's damn near like six artists, bro. And them artists also that like, even at my events, bro, like yeah. I let artist people open up for I don't be charging these people sometimes sometimes I do, I do. depending I know you do. I know you do. You a greedy nigga. But no, some, ain't got to do sometimes with I it no, ain't got no, 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 it's right, it's right, it's right. You it's should like, charge people. Yeah. Artists, listen, if I it, that, if somebody don't charge you, that means they doing you a nigga, favor. I paid myself. Yeah, yeah you I right, you right, you more. right. I'm I'm wrong, bro. Like, these artists supposed to bro, if you opening up yeah. for T Ski, Polo G, B King, V's, any of these people I'm booking, and I hit you up and let you do that for to free. Me, if that's I can love. Perform in front of fifty people, that's worth fifty dollars. Okay, there you go. That's coming from an artist. I probably got more albums out than most of these niggas. <laughs> like you know, what yeah. I'm saying they put more videos out than most of these niggas. Like, nigga, if I can perform in front of fifty people, that's worth fifty bucks. I ain't, I can't argue with that, bro. Because I guarantee out of those fifty people, I can get fifty bucks right yeah. back out of that. Like, Sometimes it depends. I believe in myself. Uh, all these other artists, I don't know. For me, it depends on the show. Sometimes I charge. Yeah. Sometimes I um to to open up. Yeah. Depending on how much. I invested in the show. If niggas right. spend fifteen thousand on the show, oh, ten thousand yeah. on the show. We need you, you, we need some money for you to open right. up for that art, especially if we know it's gonna be a sold out show. But then also, you know, like some shows, and they they'll tell you if I'm lying. If I'm yeah. lying, it call me out. There's been artists I done hit up and just say, "Hey, listen, man, we ain't got no openers. You want to open? It's on me." Yeah, no, nah, for sure. It's on me. For sure. People I don't know have relationships yeah, with. Yeah, yeah. It's nah, on me. I sure. seen your. I literally seen your. Been, um, Hell, I'm, I'm not just every and any. Like, you know what I'm saying? No, no. Like, I got to like it. Yeah. I seen you up. You know, I see you got right. a little following. I see you doing your thing. N nobody has booked the slot. Let me give you a boost. And, bro, I've done that with, like, opening DJs. I've, Bro, that's one thing. Is like you got to give back a little bit, and people going to circle back and give back to you. Straight yeah, up, bro. Yeah, yeah. I promise you. That's why when, when you said the whole KK shit, I said, bro, he didn't say nothing bad about me. No, he didn't. It's impossible. He didn't say It's that impossible, bro, because I've he helped people for yeah. real, bro, nah. and never did nothing yeah. like, no, <laughs> yeah, nobody nah. will ever tell you, Polo didn't pay me. Yeah. Polo did this snake shit. Bro, my name is A1 in this shit, bro. A hundred percent, bro. I never had no beef with nobody. I never stiffed nobody on no money. I never had no list at Tantrum of nine people I couldn't let in. I never not did none you, of that. Not that you couldn't let them in. Whatever the fuck. I'm just telling you that I ain't never. Them niggas I, know I, I, I hold I hold pride in. I'm talking about me. Yeah. I hold pride in. One thing about Polo, when he show up at your venue, yeah. the worst he going to do is they may say no smoking. He might smoke a little bit. <laughs> he might spark up in that I ain't I ain't late. Yeah. I got backup on backup equipment. Yeah. My music ain't never cut off. Yeah. Ain't no smoke at the door with nobody. Yeah. I'm gonna bring my team in. Yeah. I'm gonna motherfucking hire you. You got a staff? Oh, you need a staff? I got a staff ready for you to bring in the staff. I can bring in my security team. I yeah. can bring in my bottle service team. Yeah. I can bring your club sides. I will invest in your club for you. I'll give you all my ideas and I'll be a hundred percent professional. And even when I in that relationship with you, it's always gonna bro. Yeah. One day you'll interview Amir. Amir will tell you that. Even when he was selling my art, I still DJ there. Yeah. Knowing it's about to be sold. Right. Every week. Yeah. No problems. Right. No, I, I have no problems with nobody, bro. And I take pride in that. And that's what I'm trying to tell you, bro. Is that you? We're gonna do this on camera. <laughs> yeah, let's do it. You a hardworking, talented, smart ass motherfucker, bro. I appreciate that, man. I've never understand this, and you could clip this too. Yeah. I don't know this man like that, bro. Shit, We've man, interacted. Bro. We've shook hands four or five times. Real I shit. respect you, bro. 
you damn near don't even know how talented you is. <laughs> I appreciate you. I'm telling you, bro. Yeah. You, all, you, you, bro. You, you damn near genius, bro. Like the some of the shit you, the way you lean into the internet yeah. and how hard you work, that's respectable. I appreciate it, man. And leave that bullshit alone, bro. I've, I've, Just give I've me a trying. year and leave that bullshit alone. This this year, I tried my best. I've been trying my best. It's a lot of shit. It's, it's a lot of shit. Yeah. <laughs> it's I know it's shit. hard. I know you want to address that shit, bro. Man. I know you want to address that shit. I'm not saying like don't be a man. I'm not saying that. Yeah. I'm saying from a business perspective though. You there really money? some of this shit ain't no gains in it. Yeah. It ain't no gain. No bro. Gains, yeah. I can you know you can Google my That's name. That's how I felt about Jay Diddy. I'm like <laughs> going back and forth with homie. I'm like, bro. <laughs> See, you still crazy. You still I'm just you still it. crazy. But like there's people who said bad shit about me, sneak this yeah. me or whatever. Bro, I'll tell you to I don't even like the status, bro. Yeah. Y'all can sneak this me all good for y'all. Right. I still drive a Porsche. It's facts. I still got a pool. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm still I'm good. I'm I'm Pull good. Y'all can do it. <laughs> hey, hey listen, we gonna talk too Pull crazy, bro. I'm, yeah. Cause I'm I'm really grateful and I'm for real humble. Yeah. Like well, I feel like, you know, when we talking about all the shit that it takes to be successful, I think right. one thing that we left out, bro, is kind of just like, whether you call it luck, fate, whatever, bro, sometimes this shit just happened based on accidents. Like, so you need a little bit of that. You need yeah. a little bit of luck dust yeah, yeah. that yeah. coming to that. Like, for example. It's really bro, God. I call it God. God. It really, that's okay, really that, perfect, is. perfect. That's but you, you need a little bit of that. Some unexplainable ass shit. One plus one equal five for me somehow. Bro, when I when I like, did that when I did that tour with Louis, bro, yeah. he just happened to be at Monarch at a day. I was like, let me do a free set. Damn. He was there. Damn. Luck, nigga. Like I wasn't yeah. supposed to even be there. It luck. Yeah. It's, it's luck. That's and so it. sometimes that that happens like that too. Like this, everything has to be in perfect order. Yeah. For for success, that Yeah. And, and yeah. for me, it was in that order, and I ain't nobody. So imagine how perfect it had to be for Polo G. Imagine how perfect it had to be Drake. for Drake. <laughs> yeah. Perfect. It, perfect. Everything had to line up. It had a, you Lil know, Wayne. Yeah, yeah that, that shit had to line up perfect. When he showed the most he ever saw in his life. Yeah. And co-signed you. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, bro, like, come like, on. Of all people. Of all remember remember when um on the Carter documentary when Wayne's whole Carter 3 album was in the hotel. It, it got, but it got leaked Leaks. first. Yeah, yeah. And he had to record a new album out of that. Yeah. And it just so happened what come out of that is Lollipop, yeah. a Millie. Yeah. And they had, they like, what the fuck? Yeah. They leaked our whole out? Luck. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It was supposed to happen. Your album was supposed to get leaked. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, with these situations, when you're talking to me about Cam, we were supposed to split apart so I could yeah. DJ. Exactly. Now, that's how that shit goes. The biggest. Yeah. Fact. You know, I thought I was supposed to be Post just a motherfucking <laughs> behind the scenes manager. Yeah, type you shit. You know? Yeah. Who knew I would have more gigs than him? That's real shit. God damn. Who, who, who knew that? That's Who knew that, you know, I would have five residencies? Yeah. You know, I no, that's big I, I just want all I I swear to God I never stole nothing. All yeah. I want to do is be like, look, man, I'm gonna be behind the scenes. I want to show my, I'm gonna go get your money for you. Yeah. That's what type of nigga I thought I was, bro. Yeah, I ain't grow up with no money, bro. Like yeah, sure. at that time, bro, I just told you before, man, when I was his age, I was stealing. Right. I was. Yeah. <laughs> we was going yeah. into Target and they had the little refill icy machines. I'm walking <laughs> yeah. that bitch with cups. Yeah. I remember yeah. I played college basketball. This before NIL, when you couldn't yeah. get paid yeah. for playing basketball. I used to go to our practice facility and take the toilet paper yeah. and put it in my my, my basketball bag yeah. and go back to my apartment. You know, my oh, brother, look, my brother could tell you he got into it with his girl and he's like, man, my girl just kicked me out or you know whatever the situation. He yeah. he he got into it with her and wanted no issues and left. Nigga said, man, I said, please come live with me and pay something. Something, man. God damn. Yeah. Nigga, you can have, I'll sleep on the couch. Yeah, you can please. have said, <laughs> Please. Just yeah. something. The mattress, <laughs> the mattress was on the floor. I'm going to send you the picture. The TV yeah. was on the floor. Yeah. For real, bro. So, and this was the time I was running around with Kim. So, yeah. I wasn't thinking that I was finna be no, I didn't have no intention of doing that. Nigga, stop fucking with me, whatever. Yeah. I'm a hustling ho still. Yeah. Okay, cool. I know how to get the book is. Let me teach myself. Da, 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 da. No, there, was, there was a lot more to that story than, than that, but that's what I'm saying where this shit is fate, luck, God, 
people call it the universe. I agree with you, God. Definitely. But this shit has to be, it's, it's, it's going to be in perfect order. Everything is perfect how it's supposed to be. Yeah. And that's just to be on, on my level. So, yeah. you know, imagine what the fuck had to happen for academics were supposed to do war in Chirac and get yeah. criticized for years <laughs> yeah. to become the, the mogul that he is now, right. you know? And so, how this shit grow? Exactly, bro. Yeah. Exactly. Is there anything else that you want to let the people know before we wrap this thing up? Shit, man. Just tap in with me. I got... Um, you got any big shows coming up you want to announce? Y'all can check my Instagram out at the Polo Scott. Um, right now we at Union yep. or Crave on Thursdays. That's, That's Toxic So Thursday. this is the... the, the the, the roof caved in? What the fuck happened? What the fuck no, happened? I don't think it caved in. I think they was just having some... They just wanted to Water renovate it. Or renovate? Yeah. They just renovated it, though. No, I'm talking about the foundation, though. Oh. So they might have renovated it's the still upstairs. The foundation? No, the roof. Like, you know, it's beams that hold that shit up. Oh, okay. So I think they... um I think they redid... I don't know. So, I, to be honest, I don't know. I think... Yeah, that, I just heard this like a week or two. I'm like... Cause the flyer looked the same. The Toxic Thursday kind of looked the same. It's just like yeah, we crazy. we just moved it to Craig. Yeah, it's yeah like, we just moved it to Craig. But we'll we'll be back at Union. So okay, here here go the schedule right now. Toxic Thursday. That's a rooftop vibe. Whether it's at Union or Craig. Yep. That's more of a, a a chill Thursday vibe. We heading yeah, into yeah. the weekend. Um, it be busting though, but it ain't yeah, it, so. you know it ain't no packed sardines type of club. Yeah. Friday is at Tantrum. Turned up. Okay. It's turned up. Packed in that motherfucker. We Let gonna, me ask you this. I gotta ask you this. Have you felt any impact since Vanquish opened on Friday? Yeah, 100%. And it, then I've seen Basement or some shit. Yeah, I haven't felt impact on as... I don't know. I haven't yeah. felt that impact as much. Because um, I think they might be targeting a different audience. or I don't, I don't know. I gotta look yeah. into that more. Because they only been open for like a week or two. Something like that, yeah. Yeah, so I gotta tap in that more. And they may, they may at some point. Right. Um, with Vanquish, yeah, hundred percent, bro. Like I said, I ain't no hater. Right. They have the young people. They're eighteen plus. But those are people that can't go into tantrum anyway. Yeah, but it's still what happens is this: you it's build your, you pack your steady. floor with little, you, you know, yeah. with eighteen plus, yeah. and then a table or two that would usually come to a twenty-one plus club goes to the eighteen plus club because it's packed. Right. You know, so yes, I felt that impact, and they they doing their thing over there on Fridays, but that don't mean that like my shit still. Bro, yeah, like I just course, yeah. I just told you I had Beat King last week. Yeah. Just told you that like you know yeah. that's sold out nights. Like just last night, no artists sold out. Right. You know, and yeah. I send you videos of that too. No, so I, I I I believe it. Yeah, you already they, you they, already know. They they did the um the concert joint for a reason. What'd you say? The oh, the the concert, yeah. yeah. Yeah, cause it's a, you know they, they had to they or they they doing good job. We doing our thing too, right. you know. So, but tantrum still tantrum on Fridays, bro. Yeah, no, for sure. I'm missing Friday motherfucking night, bro. Nigga, I've been doing this this Friday I shit. To be petty so bad. Go ahead. <laughs> Go ahead. Nah, 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 nah. I'm gonna be nice. I'm nice. I'm I'm, I'm changed. Say what you gotta say, bro. <laughs> Is tantrum still tantrum on Wednesdays. <laughs> I don't know, bro. I don't know how I'm going to go out on that day. You stupid, bro. I, I really didn't even mean to ask that, but fuck <laughs> You had to. It was just a perfect You can't I, help it. You, your, I couldn't help your it. Your ass I do not listen, God, bro. I your ass do I not. I couldn't help it. I tried. I tried. I was like, Can I finish you, giving you my motherfucking lineup, still, bro? All right, yeah, go ahead. All right. So we got Toxic Thursday. Yeah. We got uh, Tantrum on Fridays. On Saturdays. Right now, we taking a pause, but we do Casablanca. Okay. And um, that's outdoor patio. Yep. I damn near feel like you like in Arizona, like in like, you yeah, know, nah, Cali type shit, vibe, like palm sure. trees type of vibe. And then on Sunday, we got a new spot. This is the main thing I wanted to get to that we need people well, to tap in. We got origami sushi on Sundays, yeah. which for Let every. Let me ask you, was that spot bigger before once upon a time? It's big. No, 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 no. It was something else. You must be thinking about Bar Louie next door. Is Bar Louie still there? No, it's closed down. But it's mo mosaic or some shit like some office shit. I think no, I think Bar Louis is vacant. Yeah, it was a or thank you. <laughs> it was an origami. I mean, I don't know. If origami used to be something, and when I went there like two days ago or whatever it was, I swear that shit looked totally different than what I remember. Yeah, they. I mean, I don't know. To be honest, I know it's a, a newer venue, mm -hmm. 
What I use it for for me is like, if you tired of the club shit, you want to come out, you want to play fucking Uno, Monopoly, whatever with your people. You want to smoke hookah. Yep. You want to do the giant jenga, and you still get the good music that's in the club. Yeah. But again, it ain't you know that whole turned up stand on the couch is bottle service type of deal. Right. We do that on Sundays from five to ten at Origami. That's hard. And then we close out the week at Tantrum. Sunday night finale. That's where I bring a lot of my artists to. We had DJ Sky High, baby. We brought Natalie Nunn there. How many Paul artists OG. are you allowed to perform at that? No, all right, man. We got that. <laughs> what you mean, bro? I just want to know how many how many artists are you allowed to perform at uh, Tantrum? I don't do performances like that. I do one or two, like openers. How many artists until it becomes a problem? <laughs> To be 100, bro, I never had no issues with tantrum as far as things becoming a problem. Like, as far as rules. Yeah. I As long as I... Me neither. Me neither. Okay. Shit shifted on me. Yeah. That's that. Okay. Yeah, I mean, with them, bro, I work good with them, bro. Me too. God damn. Ah. <laughs> And that, and there you have it, folks. We gonna wrap this thing. <laughs> no, I'm, sorry. I'm trying, man. I really got some questions I gotta ask, but we gonna save for off the camera, man. Cause like I said, I don't edit. I, I do edit, but I don't cut out. Um, let me see, man. This is good. I don't got my next present till five, neither. So I did ask you about the bar, the bar shit at tantrum. What else? This is another tantrum question for sure. Nah, I asked that off course. I asked that off camera. I'm, mm -hmm. See, I'm growing. I'm a professional. I'm trying to be like you, man. <laughs> I want to be like Paul Scott when I grow up, man. Hey, man, don't hey, don't chop this shit up, man. Try to make me a bad guy, bro. No, uh -huh. no, no, no. It ain't nothing bad. It's just information. Like I said, it's a black-owned platform. We black people. We got to share I, uh, the information. Can I shout some people out, bro? Yes. I want to shout out motherfucking Pretty and Paid. Yep. That's my promotion group. Yep. 20, uh, 20 women. If you want to book us, you can DM me or you can uh, DM Pretty and Paid dot IG, mm. popping, yep. Ski Team, yep. Industry Kids, Wave Stars. These is all promotion groups. You you, t you said you want people to shout out hosts. Yeah, I work with groups. I work with groups, and so with you know a host or two. I do. Dolo, that's my nigga, bro. What you don't like, Dolo? Bro, you don't like nobody, bro. No, 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 no. It wasn't that. Shout out to Dolo. Me and Dolo go back like 12 years, man. Just Boss like, up, God, Q. You damn. know you know Q? Ish. I know him. You got you to gotta tap in with him, bro. No, bro. yeah, finally. But I I'm feel just like, saying Dolo. God damn. That's I like feel saying like, John Ray. He'll be here uh, later tonight. But I'm saying John Ray. Who, who, name top five Minnesota. John Ray. Like, God mm. damn, nigga. Yeah, Dolo, nigga. God damn, we know this. Oh, like, oh, you saying that it's the obvious. Yeah, like. Because KK no, but, said that, and I ain't press him afterwards. I, so I was like, God damn it. Like, no, but I just named you like like yeah, five host. host groups. I work with groups more right, than... I a host outside of Dolo. No, I just said Wave Stars, Ski Team, One BTC, BTC, right. the motherfucking GOAT. Right. What are you talking about? Right. Yeah. That's it's my... In house, man. You all in-house. You a political guy. No, I work with anybody who is professional and want to work, bro. I don't have none. I'll give you one that I don't work with any work at uh, Vanquish. I might say his name wrong. You won't. Uh, he young. Is, is it Dank? Uh, Dank Promotions. Got it on lock, bro. He just, once he convert his audience from the same spot we was all at when we was young. Once he yeah. convert his audience from warehouse after set into clubs. Yeah. What? Yeah, yeah. He got it, and he he works for Vanquish, bro. Yeah, 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 yeah. Nah, Dank. Ah, uh, he thought he's gonna get me. I ain't no hater. You thought you had a hater. Ah. Nah, nah, nah. Dank, Dank doing shit. Dank doing shit. I was supposed to do some shit with uh with Dank and Waterwave once upon a time. Waterwave, that's another group. Yeah. Um, Waterwave supported me very, very yeah. early, bro. Yeah, I was supposed to. Um, I was pissed you gave him the interview before me. I ain't gonna. Lie. You never hit me up. I hit you up. You told me a thousand dollars. Hell no. Nah. <laughs> How much money is nigga charge to be up here? <laughs> Hold on. I'm finna go to the DM. <laughs> I definitely hit you up. I ain't gonna say your price, but you definitely told me, hey, look, we need that money. Hell if, no, I ain't charge you. No, you did. Did you just hit me up live on Lacey or Jake? No, I hit you up. And you told me you was gonna charge you. You told me you was gonna charge me, and I just. I, I wouldn't I, have charged But listen, though, it don't matter. I respected that, and I still was like, it is what it is. The only way I would have charged you is if I was 
a month behind on rent. You was feeling yourself. <laughs> no, 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 dead ass. The only way I would charge somebody like you or anybody that you, know you what don't what even saying? gotta post this, bro. Don't. No, no, I, don't, I, I, don't I love get this into shit. that. I love that shit. Don't get into that. No, bro. they got they 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 need it. Some they people don't know. Some of y'all gonna get charged, and that's okay. It's more than okay, and we are not appreciate y'all. <laughs> like real shit, but no real shit. The only way I charge somebody that I obviously have the wear out is is if they hit up, and I'm already back paid. Like I said, nigga, seventeen over. I head. thought you know the way I looked at it. I thought I know. Um, I don't know, bro. I just feel like I, I was like, all right, well, the nigga want to charge me. I feel like you might have heard something bad about me, or you might have, you know, you got a lot of ops. You might have thought I was cool. With one of I your don't ops. Have ops man. I don't know. I was just like, yeah. I don't, listen, I seen what you was doing at Tantrum. I said, I want to work with that. You know, I want to see see how we can collaborate on whatever we got to do, bro. No, we, we, and here we are. Shit, we promoting each other at this point. You getting my stories out to the world. I'm getting your stories out to the world. That yeah. cam shit going to be good. This interview going to have a timeline on fire. You think so? I give it for, they were talking about this for two to three days for sure. We ain't even said nothing. Nah, you don't remember nothing. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it is. Shit, we ain't saying nothing. Nah, hey, like, man. Hey, look it. I'm finna get uh, Leon. I'm dropping KK right before you. I'm finna get Leon to edit a bunch of clips. Hey, said I'm little mama as fuck. Hey, can I bring uh, you Leon? I ain't see that? Hey, real quick, real quick before we get out bring of here. Bring Leon into the camera. Lee, ski. Come here real quick. <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> you over the stuff, is this bro. camera working right here? Or he got to come right here. Nice. Watch it. Let me get up for my dog. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hey, listen, man. Mm -hmm. We about to bring in Big Ski, mm -hmm. the best graphic. The, yeah. the 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 best yeah, graphic. Hold on, hold on. Look, can I introduce you? Oh, let him give it to. Let him give it to. This you. is my dog right here, man. This is one of the best graphic designers in the city. He print his own clothes. He motherfucking hosts. He got ski team. You feel me? He. he <laughs> Ask my dog some questions. Kanye crazy. Okay. Let me get him. Let me get him some questions real quick. No, nah, but hold on. Before you start, though, yeah, right, Leon, L, hold on. You got to restart the whoop? We got the one. See, I love shit like this. You know what I'm saying? I love it. I, 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 I live for the shit like this. We got the one and only Leon from Ski Team in the building. Let's make some noise. That's enough noise. That's enough. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Yeah, that's enough noise. I ain't hear that shit. Nah, I fuck with you, but it's all jokes. She said I was little mama as fuck. On her status. What? <laughs> Yours. On the status I made that you shared, and you said I was little mama as fuck. Oh my god. I mean, let's talk Adjust about it. it. I ain't gonna lie to you. But look, check it out. If I said that, look though, if it's family, I'm gonna ride behind family. You feel me? I don't Even care. If, I don't care if I know you. If I don't know you, I'm gonna ride with family, right or wrong. In a discussion. He's the shooter. He's the shooter. He's the shooter. God damn. <laughs> <laughs> oh me, I'm gonna always ride with family. Hey, look, we gonna talk about this deluxe shit. No, yep. fast deluxe. You know, fam. Hey, yeah, Leon Graphics. You know, Ski Team, all that. Let's talk no, about no, it. No, no, it looks good. I like the I like the apparel you got on. Yeah, I made this you myself. Made that yourself. Yeah. So I know a little bit about clothing. Uh -huh. So let me try to converse on how you, how this is done. The deluxe apparel might be a little vinyl, maybe. It is. Ain't no now, little. It is. Now the bottom <laughs> part. Let's stand up real quick. Let no, just hold the, the whole whoop. This whole whoop. Vinyl. Awesome. But so you got your lay your, your you got your heat press on on perfect then. On, on perfect. Cause it don't look the bottom part don't look vinyl. Everything is vinyl. That's crazy. Everything. That's crazy. Besides the graphics. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah. You know, I do the PSD. I do the IA. I do the yeah, I know, PR. I, yeah, I know I about all that. I do the AA. I, yeah, I know about all that. You know, <laughs> DTG. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, screen. I know about all that. Yeah, yeah. You yeah, feel me? Yeah, but you know, you right know right how to, now. you know. Yeah. If you know, you know. You got to know yeah. how to, you feel me? You know, finagle your way through the, you feel me? Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. No, nah, but no, that's good shit right there. So how did you get into clothing and um styling and stuff like really that? Really shit, before the clothing started, I was a graphic designer. You know, I've been a graphic designer about, what, 13 years. Still. How did you learn to do graphic design? Really, believe it or not, I, I used to rap. <clears throat> yeah, I used to rap, you know. Everybody had a rap stage, you know. Yeah. You know, like, uh, I Where made, are you from originally? 
Well, you know, you know, Tulsa, Oklahoma. You know, okay. I'm a country boy. You feel okay. me? Okay. Yeah, I'm a country boy. But nah, uh, yeah. So like, uh, graphics. You know, I started off rapping. Yeah. I ain't have a graphic designer, not knowing what that was. You know. Yeah. But like, I made my own cover arts and all that. But within, like, the clothing, you know, I advanced in the graphic design and, like, people start saying, like... Yeah, because that ain't Defont.com right there. No, no. Like, they, like, they, like you know, people is, like, saying, like... <laughs> that ain't Defont.com right Look, people, like, people, like, you know, put your graphics on your shirts. Like, no, put graphics on shirts or, like, you know, make your own brand with your graphics, you know? Yeah. Beyond, like, you know, uh, cover arts, logos, flyers, I do, like, concept art within like inspirational art you know so like i make art for like your house your bathrooms your barber shops yeah. you know beauty supply shops i make you know original art you know so like who's some of the uh celebrities that is this mic on i can tell but it's pick you you're, you're getting who, who, picked up who's some of the celebrities that you uh I ain't gonna lie to you. The first celebrity graphics for i ain't gonna lie yes. the first celebrity i ever made art for was floyd mayweather damn I swear to God. Wait, 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 wait. Give him a drop. <laughs> no, no, you're not going to play my boy. Give him a drop. Baluto. 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 See, me, before, before, I'm going to let that finish. Before I became, like, a Minneapolis graphic designer, I had really high-end, high, high end, you know, clientele. We need some names. How did, they, they how, Floyd know. Mayweather, Montana 300, The Baby, Stunning for Vegas, Let's Be take, a, be hey. a Rapper. I, I, let's go on, man. I let's got a real portfolio. Let's, let's take it to Floyd. How did you connect with Floyd Mayweather? So like, it's a um, it's a tech company here. Go by the name of Packhouse Live. I know. Shout out to Ricky. Ricky, yeah, that's yeah. my man. Yeah. Before Ricky was Ricky, I met Ricky. He was uh, this when Harvest Prep, Harvest Prep was a middle school, elementary school, but then they had Don Woody. I Dunwoody. met you, you know, yeah, I met right Ricky. Dude. Yeah. yeah dude. So you know, you know Ben Hughes. I, I don't know him. I know of him. Yeah. He made, like, you know, documentaries. Wait, wait, wait. Did, well, did he go to Dunwoody? Or no, he went to uh, something else. Yeah, I'm not he, sure, but I know who Ben Hughes is. I'm familiar with him. He went to with Deal with Sal, I think that's what that was. But no, yeah, I met Ricky, you know. Then uh, Ricky started working with Floyd. Ricky and his brother, you know. Then that's when I really started becoming, like, the graphic designer that I am today, you know. Right. So. He reached out. I just I, stole a couple of your graphic work too. Oh my gosh! <laughs> well, you know that's normal. You know, hey, now the game is game. Don't don't get hey, mad. Hey, you can't get mad. I like that though. I always say I want to be as big as to where people still, not even necessarily still, just get the inspiration, the inspiration of. That's really what I meant when I said I yeah, stole. Yeah, like shit. the inspiration. Like, of, damn, purple yeah. and blue. That's a good color scheme. I like. <laughs> you feel me? You feel me? Like, <laughs> let me go ahead. Because like, I, I got, I got I'm twenty eight hours. We in this motherfucker line. Lee get mad as fuck when niggas copy him. Every time, if a nigga copy me, yeah. You know, you asking me about something, yeah. Nigga copy me. He said, "You gonna allow this shit, Polo?" But no, <laughs> but no, though. That's only that's only because yeah, like shit. I had realized like you know how shit is nowadays. You feel me? Yeah. I really got tapped in. You feel me? Because you know before I became who I am, I was an insider. Like yeah, I had to you know get myself out there just so I could you know. Give my brand the opportunity to like speak for itself, type shit. You no, that's feel real. Me? I be seeing a little corner left, top left yeah, pocket. Yeah, if, if you see that, then you know it's official. You and it's me? crazy that they they let you get that off because they don't let niggas get that off. A lot of people don't. <laughs> yeah. I ain't no lie to you because I, I told you I've been in the industry off. like before I became like a, yeah. mini, a Minneapolis graphic designer. Yeah, I worked with celebrities. Yeah, and when celebrities buy their art, they don't want none of that shit. That's yeah. like buying a beat. And a producer that they tag on the yeah. beat. Yeah. They don't want that shit. You feel me? So, like, yeah. Well, shit, I just wanted you to meet my dog. But, yeah, no, it's Leon right. on Instagram. L-E dot O-N yep. underscore underscore underscore. Y'all gonna have to uh, yeah. get y'all own interview. Yeah, no, nah, we, we, gonna, we definitely gonna do that. No, y'all definitely niggas, will. I ain't gonna lie. Y'all niggas is very similar. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, very, so I do everything to myself. I don't go through China, no middleman. Nigga, I get on my. I, I don't know, know if I, I could cuss. I use Fiverr a little bit. He looks 46. <laughs> <laughs> he, no, no, I'm serious. He looks 46. Lee. I ain't gonna lie. Y'all won't Lee guess my age. Fuck. And I won't say my age. You ain't gonna say your age? No. I promise you, Leon younger than. 90% of y'all out But here. yeah, I am young as hell. Young as hell. I'm a I'm, baby. I'm a I'm baby. I him because my brother was his basketball coach. My no, his brother, brother was was my basketball coach. And my coach. Yeah. brother told me, he said, listen, you need to expand your team. 
you need, you can't do all this shit by yourself. I got a young nigga who know how to do some shit. Yeah, and I know how to do some shit. I can vouch for him. I only know Leon for about. I told Leon when I met him. I said, give me a year. Yeah, that's all it's been. I said, give me a year. I promise <laughs> that's you. all it's been. <laughs> I said, give me a year, and I promise you, you gonna eat. Facts. Am I lying? No. And he and he said it like this. I ain't gonna teach you how to be the cockiest nigga. I ain't gonna teach you how to be the flat. I'm gonna teach you how to get money low key, and that's how that's it's been. Shit. We, we if you don't know me, Luther, if you don't know me, you don't know me for a reason. You feel me? And we don't keep it like that. But if you know me, you know me. If you don't, you don't. You feel me? Now I'm changing my ways, man. I'm uh, I'm uh, I'm I'm, I'm up to something. Hey, you gotta be. I think I got some shit that can work with us. Bro. Let's make it happen, man. Cause uh, we ain't, we ain't doing no list at the door though. Nah, it's just definitely a list. At least six. Oh my! He God. said he got like fifty of them. At least that six. can't get in. If it's not a list, it's it it's worse. Okay. <laughs> and that's growth. Me saying worse, that's growth. Cause I could have said what I wanted to. You your face, you shouldn't even be at the door. Yeah. No nah, fact. Yeah. No. Nah, I learned. Shit. I learned oh, that. But you know what's crazy? I don't answer I mean my phone. Because you know, I'm in like a second life. Yeah. So motherfuckers rather know or they don't know. But I kind of am too, though. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You think about me too, though. You know, yeah. we ain't talk about it. But right. We ain't going to talk about but it. But people know you. <laughs> you know, That's a different know, story. People know That's you're a different DJ. story. It's about 40% of motherfuckers that don't know I'm live on Lake Street. Because mm. I branded it with the white boys. So it's like, motherfuckers don't know. I'll be at the door watching my... Hey, we, nope, nope, nope. Then I see a motherfucker coming from around the court and, all right, hey, I'm finna be, I'm finna be the back. Look, look, look. <laughs> hey, when he come up, we, we unless stage. he call my phone, we, hey, we I am now. not here. We, I'm telling you, we at the stage now, bro. Yeah. Duck off and get to the money on, bro. And that's and how it is. Shit. Duck off and get to the money on, bro. That's money on equals, no, it don't equals. Money on over fun on. Money on over fun on. Money on over fun on. That's Shout the, out Pretty and Page. Shout out Money on Ski Team Industry Kids. The other team. We, we love y'all. Shout out my nigga. Shout out, shout out BTC on my mama. BTC <laughs> go. On me. Shout out. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, I appreciate you, gang, for having me. I appreciate you, man. Oh, y'all know what it is. Y'all know what it ain't. This your boy, South South Chief, the Lake Street Legend. It's another episode of Live on Lake Street. We got two legends in the building. Polo Scott, the biggest. And we got Leon from Ski Team. One of the most innovative flyer graphic designer video yeah, entrepreneurs <laughs> that Kanye. the city has seen we out here it ain't that i can't stop nope. it's that i won't stop Yo. i made a few plays off a of flip now i'm on top Jeez. i'm south side chief homie yeah what you know about it lake street legend ceo not the co-founder what you want to know about me I'm so churched up, I'm the last man standing, but I went first up Most hated, they don't say it when I roll up no. The things that people say about me, they don't say close up Check it, I ain't been to the booth in a minute Check. Niggas hate the fact that I'm winning yep. I'm on Lake Street, yo, when you pop in, in Minnesota, you gotta go check it out Facts, okay? We gonna be on that joint Live on motherfucking Lake Street, man It's different I, I, I don't know how to say it Say it, say it